Someone wanted his time early. He's apparently missed all of you. <laughs> so hello, good morning, happy Saturday, April 11th, 2020. It is Easter weekend. It doesn't really feel Eastery, but that's okay. That's okay. We do have a ham and uh, mashed potatoes and asparagus for tomorrow night's dinner. So we're excited for that. Everybody says hi, Mr. Clive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, thanks, Anita. Let's start getting those th thumbs ups. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, 82 of us. It's nice to hang out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Easter weekend to everybody. Big hugs. Big hugs. We're finally going to get this bag done. Uh, I, of course, you know, I had a little design change when it came to the sides. I wasn't happy with it. It seemed really narrow, so I added another strip. Even an inch and a half makes a difference. So or to two inches, depending on, you know, what you're adding. So I think it'll, it'll be, it'll look a whole lot better this time around. I'm happy with it. So I've been doing kind of like little, some, um, plaid sort of stitch outs, you know, just, I stitched on either side of the black, uh, with gray and, uh, and I just have a little bit more to go on this one. I think I'm completely done on this one. So you can see where I've kind of cross hatched it or, um, Inter, interly locked it sort of thing. I did, like I was just doing some rough lines. Like this is not exact. It's my bag. If it was, if I was doing it for somebody else, I would have put some more. Be a little bit more exact. So, uh, this is the bottom so far. That's what I've, I've got. Okay, so you can see that. This is one of my bigger pockets of the half square triangles on the inside with orange backing. Okay, and then that was my other half square triangle uh, pocket. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hello, Claudette. Hello, everybody. I'm going to try to say everybody's name on the screen. So, Sassalette, Christina. Christina, got your package. I'm going to show it off in a minute. Hello, Vicki Howard. Hello, Pat. Hello, Shannon. Roxanne, Gwenny, Tina, Donna Faye, Kelly, Claudette, Volvocations, Kelly, Sharon, Rowena, Nadine, uh, Linda, Kim, Sharon. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Charlotte. Yeah, I got you back. Thank you so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share. Actually, you should probably see the panel. You can probably see the panel right here. I, I was ironing it up there, darling. So thank you for that. That was very nice of you. Hello, Kathleen. Hello, Sherry. Hello, Tanya. Omni says hi, Mr. Clive. Hello, Vicky. Uh, hello, Mama Pop friends and Quilty friends here. I love how I love so many of you. Oh, thank you, thank you. We love you too, Vicky. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. Oh, and Becky, it is a cool panel. That is from Christina Ferrari. How do you say it? Ferrari? 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 The F E R R E E. Lots of E's and R's. <laughs> she gifted that to the shop and, um, and some other goodies I will share with you in a moment once I'm finished loving Mr. Clive. And then he'll, maybe he'll leave me alone for a little while. <laughs> uh, so, so it's wonderful. Be oh, I'm happy you're here, Vicky. I'm happy you're here. Mm -hmm. And Steph says, hello, Betty, Josie, Kathy, and Joe Marie. Hello, Joe Marie. How's he, how you doing? I'm happy you're here. Mm -hmm. Happy everybody's here hanging out with us. Hello, Jeanette. Glad. From Sweden. Well, hello. Hello, hello. I did a whole... Um, okay. So it was a longer Wednesday and I literally did like a drawing, I, I do a, I did a drawing, drawing, a Hef, Scheffenhausen, the, the dock there, it was beautiful. And then I realized I forgot the H <laughs> in the Scheffenhausen. So I had to go back and fixed it, but <laughs> that's okay. Thanks to the fans of the channel. They caught it before I gave it as a gift because it was for my friend's uh, dad's birthday gift because he was from, um, that's where they got married. And, and I didn't realize it, but, it, but I stitched out the church. Uh, when I did it on the long run Wednesday, I stitched out the church and did the whole little cross and stuff like that. They got married at that church. Wasn't that awesome? I was like, aw. And they, and they knew the whole place. As soon as they saw it, they knew it. 
and it was all, I think it was an anniversary present or a birthday present. I can't remember which one it was, but anyways, it was well loved. Jeff and Hazen. I will never forget that. So, yes, and that was, well, no, sorry, that's Switzerland, not, not Sweden. I'm sorry. I'm a brain fart. You guys are all the same to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. I'm sorry. Where's Pop? Pop's here. He's there somewhere. He said he was hiding. <laughs> I know Jeanette, right? Shiny objects. I'm sorry. It was in Switzerland, not Sweden. I apologize. What a dork. Hello, Lady Kopak. Oh, Mr. Clive's I was just loving his good time today. Carrie says hello. Lois says hello. Gwenny says hello. Oh, Ro Ro sorry, Rowena says hello. All right, okay, I'm done. My arm is sore. Oh, we're good. Okay, 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 we're good. Adios, amigo. So, <clears throat> let me finish sewing this line here that I was going on before Mr. Clive decided he was needing some love and attention. Because I was working on it. Hello, hello, hello. Happy June. Happy June's here. Uh, I think I had everybody on every side that. Yes, I do. Okay, so that's kind of what I did. I did. We did the black line before, and then this time around, well, apparently I did two grays on that line. I think we need to come down on here. Um, so, uh, and then we're just kind of reinforcing it. We're just reinforcing just a little bit. And then uh, some people were asking me why I didn't press it to glue it to the foam to begin with. Well, I didn't know if I was going to change my mind. <laughs> well, I'm allowed. So, <laughs> now that I, I haven't changed my mind on this part, we can, you know, kind of solidify it to the point where it's all stitched together, and then we can press it. Uh, I'm happy, happy you're here, Deanne. Da, da, is Kelly A? Oh, Kelly is in the chat. I mailed your uh, panel off, darling. I'm sorry, I was a little bit behind on that one. Uh, I, I'm, and I just got it out the other day when I mailed out my niece's um, fabric bowl -y thingies. So you should expect it soon if you don't have it already. Okay, so sorry about that, Kelly. And if Donna McConnell, she could, you know, send us an email or something like that because she's the one who won the other panel for the, um, the guessing of how many half square triangles were in this bag. So that would be nice to be able to get her that. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's on the way. It's a little brown envelope. Okay. I just kind of shoved it in there. I'm not very ceremoniously. I'm sorry. I just shove it in. You, you know what I mean? You know, I'm sending the love. <laughs> Did you ever quilt your blocks you made into a quilt yet? Okay, Lady Kopeck, what do you mean by that? Which, which, what? Uh, the owl quilt is underneath the iron at the moment. Sorry. Did you want to see that? Let, let's show off uh, Christina's package. So because you guys know I'm a dork and I misplaced my sewing machine panel that I was going to make bags for uh, like four viewers or four, four we could give it away on a 12 hour and I still have not found, I don't know where it is. I get a little frustrated, let me tell you. So Christina went and found this one for me and we will make bags out of four. It'll be four per side, okay? And then from that, I'm gonna add a little bit of color that matches the square panels. So I'll be able to make three. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then these four or whichever four I decide, whether it be this four or that four, uh, will go to me and I'll make something out of it for myself, so. It'll be the 25th there, Steph. Thanks for asking. 25th. Two weeks today. Two, two, two weeks today. Book it on your calendar. 12 hours. Oh, thank you, Anonymous. Thank you so much. Big hugs. Big hugs. So, so thank you, Christina. <laughs> so three of you will get to win bags on the 12 hour that day because we'll put them together. I'm well, Helly. How are you? How are you? Okay, and that, that wasn't the only thing that Miss Christina sent me. Okay, I'm just showing you here. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I don't, ooh, I don't have it all. Just one second here. Some, the cutest little Kleenexes, but I, I don't think I'll ever use them because they're just too damn, too, sorry, too darn adorable. Uh, 10 tissues, no perfume, soft and strong, three ply. I'll put them up to the iron camera so you can see them. They have little, um, like, uh, dress molds. 
on them, okay. And then a couple of, I'm thinking they're fat quarters, so I will lay them out so you can see them. Okay, so here's, here's with the chickens. Oh my God, I fell in love with the chickens, my goodness. Okay, here, there, and I'll just, I'll just keep laying them out so you can get a really good look at them, how adorable they are. And I'm gonna make something. Ow, Mr. Clive, you're not climbing. Nope, 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 back off, bubby. Okay, here, there we go. This is cute little polka dots of all colors that seem to match this little pack so far, okay. Hopefully I'm not going too fast, but uh, you know. And then here's a pink with the same background as the white, but with all the little dots on it. And then all these cute and adorable little fleurs. Oh, here, let's put it this way so you can see the flowers your way. Is that adorable? And then some awesome emoji fabric. <laughs> nine ant, nine ant. I, I think so, Sasselet. Uh, that seems to, to work with the family. I don't really want to throw too much of a spanner in the works when it comes to, to them, you know, uh, you know, because they got they got stuff to do too. So I don't I don't want to. As much as I'd like to maybe start earlier. So isn't that adorable? I can't wait to, to make something with all that. So thank you so much, Christine. Where are we, Mr. Clive? No, 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 no. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> yeah, isn't that adorable? So thank you. Big hugs. Big hugs. Thank you so much. That was a beautiful little package. And then, and Lois sent a package to Munchkin. I'm just going to get his attention so he can. So, oh, and she sent me something else. So hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She sent me this. Just so he can come and say thank you. Because I, I told him I'd let him know when Lois was in the channel. So this comes with a bag. It's called a Josie bag. Eight and a half by 14, and I think we'll do this on the live, the 12 hour. We'll do this project here because it comes with the handle accessory and with the little foamy bits on the inside. So isn't that like wham bam? Come say, come say uh, to, uh, to Lois, please, honey. Thank you. She's in the chat. Uh, it's in the other room, I think. Okay. All right. Just wanted to make sure you knew that she was here, so. So yeah, that's gonna keep me so much out of trouble. <laughs> Donna, hello, hello, hello. Hello, Lori, hello, Virginia. 11 to 11 for me on Saturday. Okay, well, that's not too bad. That's a lot, that, well, it's a little late for you though, isn't it? I like the bag too, uh, Lori. I'm so happy you were successful with that owl quilt. I don't know where I went wrong, but it just wasn't lining up. I mean, was my seam allowance off? Because if you, hold on, it's actually under here. I'll show you. Because um, I, I tweaked it a little bit because I realized the bottom was a little bit wider than the top. So uh, I, I tweaked it right in the center. So, but uh, mine, mine lines up just fine, but I don't, I don't know where, where I went wrong. <laughs> but you know, life is like that. So, <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that's what's up for, for grabs for the, the silent auction. If you're interested in bidding on it, we're still waiting for stabilizer to uh, finish off the eyes and the eyebrows though. And it, it looks lovely. Hold on, I'll, I'll scooch it all the way up. So you can see mine lines up. I don't know why it wasn't on the day it was supposed to be. Oh, whatever. I'm, d I'm just glad it worked for somebody. <laughs> oh, all right, hold on. Where's your, oh, I think your spoons and stuff. Where's your spoons or spatulas? Yeah. They need to be cleaned. Oh, they need to be, they need to be washed. Okay, go ahead, it's all you. Hello everybody. I uh, heard that there was a lot of questions about me from from last stream. Uh, thank you for your concern. <laughs> I'm doing fine and uh, hello. <laughs> thank you very much Lois for the birthday gifts. They were awesome. You put a grin on my face that I think lasted for a day or two. <laughs> go Gators, go Gators, go Daddy. <laughs> yeah, I got another one of these shirts that I I quite like. They're they're very comfortable. Uh, <laughs> and uh, for for those of you that don't know, which is probably all of you except for Lois and Pat, um, I got a set of measuring cups. <laughs> for my birthday, <laughs> along with my own mug, which actually I'll go grab that right now. Okay, go, go, go grab. 
Go grab, grab, grab. <laughs> Oops, sorry. sorry. <coughs> Um, mom and pop had uh, these mugs before, but now I've I've got my own, and <laughs> I will admit that I was really jealous when they got theirs and I didn't. <laughs> I told him it wasn't his birthday. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it, it, this is really cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love it, Lois. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's close to me. <coughs> sorry, sorry, why? Why are you sorry? <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't his birthday. He didn't need a mug. <laughs> That's what she says, but I got so, a mug now. <laughs> yeah, he does. He was so he was like, All is forgiven, I have mug. <laughs> <laughs> he was so happy, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, well it's easy to spot when you set it down. What are you talking about, Kathy? I'm not sure. I don't know. That's okay. <laughs> uh, I just love this quilt. I can't believe Mom is so mm -hmm. fast at piecing quilts, and I have to match each and every tiny seam. What are you with which which what, what quilt? Oh, with that quilt? That wasn't actually wasn't too too bad. I mean, uh, the twenty fifth there, Miss Donafe, twenty fifth, and we'll do pops. May block of the month uh, there as well as make some bags and do some other stuff and yeah no worries we'll, 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 it'll all be good it is it, it is so sparkly it's beautiful oh. thank you I'm gonna take your cat with you no no <laughs> well I'd like to have some tea now <laughs> go Hi. <laughs> hugs <laughs> Post on the count. Yeah, yeah, 25th. 12, uh, the 12 hours will be on the 25th. So, hold on. Just taking my tea bag out. What's everybody else drinking in your mug today? I got, I got tea, Earl Grey, with a little bit of milk and a little bit of sugar. So, cheers to you with my beautiful red mug. It was a gift from my friend Janice. Hot tea, me too. And there we go. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, do we have to put a pinky up? Hold on. Hold on, let me get me pinky up. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I have to stick my tongue out and concentrate at the same time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Air Grey with the shoe. Well, there we go, Kim. <laughs> Air Grey said it was Wendy. There we go. <laughs> Chai tea latte. Oh, that sounds good, but I don't like chai for some reason. I've had it. Probably spilled. Yeah, no kidding. That's what I was thinking. I, it, you don't have enough control over the mug at that point in time because the mug's too darn big. <laughs> if it was one of those little wee little tiny chain, China ones, you know, China tea set, that'd be different. <laughs> the pinky automatically goes out. <laughs> cranberry juice and water that sounds good I, I I usually have that Becky actually I switched to white cranberry yeah white cranberry juice uh, instead of the strawberry cranberry I gave that a little bit of a change <laughs> mm, is Sue Smith here and I, uh, I have no idea if either one of them are here Vicki speak up girls if you're in the channel <laughs> You're being asked for. <laughs> Need to eat dinner while still warm? Be watching. What are you having for dinner there, Miss Hilly? We're having, I've already made it, that's why I know. Uh, yams, well, not cooked, but prepped. Uh, yams, sweet potatoes, some people, and meatloaf. So with oats and two eggs and some seasoning. So, oh, Robin's here. Robin from RS Island Crafts is here. Okay, there's one he is. Sue Smith was the other one. Sammy D says Coke. There we go. Good old coffee, says Josie. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Linda, we are having meatloaf. Oh, yeah, there we go. See, great minds think alike there, Linda. Mm -hmm. Cheers to you. Fish and curly fries in the oven. Oh, there we go. That sounds good. Let Bun Munchkin bake that day uh, on the 25th. You mean Nadine? I'm not sure I asked him if he wanted to do something with me. He was kind of, eh, so, you know, I'll give him the week to figure it out, and then we'll let you know. 
by next live stream, we'll let you know what, what Munchkin's going to be doing and maybe Pop will be, do, be doing. So, mm-hmm, corned beef and hash, chicken chili. Oh, that sounds kind of good, Charlotte. I don't think I've ever had chicken chili, as long as no peppers involved. Mm-hmm. I'm not seeing what you're reading, says Betty. Oh, maybe refresh. Maybe refresh. International. Oh, the cat took my chair. Say what, what? Hmm? What are you doing? Meh. Poke, poke. Yeah, Mr. Clyde, what are you doing in Mama's chair? Hmm? Meow. Meow. You keep poking in the butt. <laughs> Chili chicken rice for us. We had butter chicken and rice the other night, and it was absolutely delicious. All you can see is his tail and eyes. <laughs> yeah, chair thief, no kidding. <laughs> I went down to the grocery store this morning, a uh, half an hour after it opened, and there was a lineup around the grocery store. So, okay. oh, keep me, keep me. <laughs> Off you go, buddy. <laughs> uh, sorry, what, Hildy? Uh, no, I haven't finished it. I'm sorry, I haven't touched it since the last stream. I've only been working it on the live streams, and that was it. I kind of lost a little umph and desire to kind of work on it after my mom passed. So I'm hoping, I was hoping maybe this week I would have got on it, but... I just wasn't feeling it. So I'm hoping maybe next week, maybe next week we'll do a little live stream on the cross stitching. So I'm sorry, Hildy. Leftover pork chops and dressing. What kind of dressing there, Josie? Move your feet, lose your seat. I know that used to be the motto in our house growing up there, Robin. <laughs> Move your feet, lose your seat. <laughs> Yeah, and then, then off I was like, not, I didn't even, I, I literally pulled up, I looked, my, one of my girlfriends was actually first in line, and there was a whole line of, like, maybe 10 people, and then I knew it went around the building, because I saw them as I pulled in, and I'm like, I don't have time to wait for this right now, I have too many other things to kind of settle in my mind before the, the stream today, and, and that's like, you know, getting lunch, I mean, this was, I was trying to think ahead, because most of the stores, if not all the stores, will be closed tomorrow being Easter Sunday. So it's not like I was looking for chocolate or something. I was literally looking for like a loaf of bread, um, a thing of pineapple to go with the ham, but we don't have to have it. It's not a big deal, <laughs> you know, so it, it's okay. Uh, I didn't actually, I haven't finished it. Well, I've, I finished it to the, po to the point where I've got the binding on. Uh, maybe if I can get Pop's help for a moment, we can kind of, maybe back the camera up and I can show you sideways what's going on. Are you interested in that? I'm happy to do that. It's literally hanging up on the, the divider. There's a pin right there, honey. Sorry. Let me move the camera back. Because you're going to see it now anyways. Because <laughs> Pop's already moved. <laughs> oh, there we go. So you're going to see it anyways. All right. So let me move the camera back. I'm sorry if this makes anybody sick. And I'm really, really sorry. I don't mean to. Trying to back it up. All right, yeah, sure. There you go, and you can walk that way. After I unclip it here, honey. There we go. Perfect. Sweet Caroline. Wah, wah, wah. Can you pop helping? There we go. So you're only going to be able to see it sideways because it's so darn big. Unless we go in front of the camera. It'll I mean, look smaller anyway. Okay. Treat the sides. Do the top half. Okay. Okay, sweetie. And then we'll go switch again. Okay, here. There we go. This corner. Sure, just, just drop it low. Drop, drop it low. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Hold it up. So if you look on Wednesday's show, you'll see it. And you'll see most of it done. We still have to get the stitch out of the... He didn't want the Pegasus, actually. He only wanted the Griffin and the Dragon. So, uh, but that's okay. On the bottom. A little bit of the bottom so they can see that. Bottom, yeah, bottom of the tower part. Yeah, there we go. But there's bears and wolves and beavers and all sorts of fun stuff already stitched on it already. Uh, and I just have to finish hand stitching the binding and we're good to go. So, oh, I know it's heavy, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's heavy. Well, here we go. Thank you. 
thank you, thank you very much. So, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Oh, he is. He's totally stoked. You have no idea, Lee. <laughs> Lee, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, ghost. Well, we we did think of that, and I asked him, and he says, you know, whatever. So he kind of shrugged his shoulders. So I thought maybe I'd still like to get the the image to stitch out to go along the mountains because I kind of did the like little waves as it would be for like snow or texture or depth or something like that. So, um, yeah. I did ask, though, Carrie. I did ask. Thank you very much, Suzanne. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, hold on. You don't need to see my thread collection under the bottom there. <laughs> you don't need to see what sort of long arm threads you have to option. <laughs> Unless you won something. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay. I think we're good there. Mm -hmm. So our next project after this bag is going to be the uh, Polaroid quilt, quilt project, okay? So that was something we did actually one year ago today. I thought it was so funny. And you can go look at the video. It's just called Polaroid Block. And I can give you some of the measurements. And if you want to mail them in and get involved in this quilt, just that that's what you got to do because we're, we're, we're collecting and we've collected. So we've got a few going on here. And then I have a choice to go between the Polaroids because that's going to be our next project after we finish the bag. That'll be next week start is I have three choices of color. So we use the brick. We use the white, or sorry, creamy, what's it called? Canadian sesquicentennial fabric, Northcott, I don't know, whatever. It's goldy, goldy, like it looks like a grunge, or this kind of burgundy purple. So it's, what do, you, what do you suggest to go between all these Polaroid blocks? Because I want a little sash, it's something in between, maybe, uh, if I cut it an inch and a half, then it gives me an inch between each block. And I think that would be a lovely size to be able to space out each one as a Polaroid. So I think we'll go with the brick as A, the golden as B, and the purple burgundy as C. So if you guys want to leave um, a comment here or even the comment after the video. Uh, so when we start next week, we know which one we're going to do as a sashing in between. Which color? B? You like the golden one? Yeah? C? Lois says C, dark. I was kind of going with this one myself there. So Lois and Christina. Yeah. B? A, definitely? Wow. Okay. We're, well, we're going to count it. So you just go ahead and make your post. We appreciate it. And I will count afterwards and we'll figure out which one we're going to do with because we're going to auction that Polaroid one off. So same as like a silent auction. Let's get it going first and then we'll, and then we'll figure it out. See how big it's going to be. You like to see, I, I, that was my, my, my original choice. And I thought, well, okay, maybe that may be a little bit too dark for people. So let's kind of go, what do I have a lot of here in the quilt shop that I could use? So those were the, those are the other ones that I chose. So, all right, I'm happy. I'm happy. Go ahead. Chat away, chat away. And they look lovely together and I can, I can put them up to the small camera later too. So hi, Mr. Clive. Surprise. Okay. I did do a bit of the cross hatching or the two on this side of the bag. I just need to continue on this side of the bag because it's not done. So I need to give it a little bit more uh, stability. Okay. So just give me a few minutes to do that. Um, yes, it does. Kelly, it goes funds of the, 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 the new shop. It, anything that we collect here, it goes towards that. Trust me. We're like, we really would after after five years of almost five years, four and a half years of the quilt shop being the living room and dining room, we're ready for it to be in a new building, trust me. So anything we can collect that goes towards that fund wise, work wise, whatever is going towards that build. It's just collecting in the bank and we're just hoping we can get there someday. And, but unfortunately all the halts have been because of the COVID-19 virus that you know, some things have been a hold, but we're still trying to collect. We're, we're going to be ready when they can say that, you know, we're good to go. So 
Mm. Lila likes E. I like that too. Janet likes A. Gypsy Mom likes A. <laughs> uh, it'll be six minutes late. No, no, don't be six minutes late. <laughs> Teresa, that is a cute diamond prism color quilt in your ladder. Um, oh, that is a uh, gemstone. Wasn't that Pop? We did that. We showed on that uh, a couple of live streams ago. It was one of the ones I made for Pop. And it's got one of the blankets that his mom um, was with before she passed away uh, as the backing. So it's a, a polar, uh, not polar, um, sorry, a um, flannel uh, hospital blanket. So thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much. Raise the roof. Woo, woo, raise the roof. I appreciate that. I really do. Hello, Jackie says, hi, gang. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Christina. You've given so much. Thank you. You don't you don't have cheers to you, darling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you so much. We're gonna get there and by golly, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna enjoy the extra space that we'll have in the house. And I'm sure Pop will be so happy not to hear the long arm <laughs> stitch out as he's trying to do a meeting. I'm like, I gotta work too. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was, I can't wait to use those fabrics. I was trying to think of a, a project and then lo and behold, I see in the other bag, I'm like, there's a bag project right here. That's what we're gonna use it for. There we go, we saved that for the 12 hours. <coughs> Sorry, tickle. <coughs> I don't know about everyone else, but this quarantine is <coughs> allow me to get more fabric sewn up into quilts. My great grandkids are taking dibs on the ones they each want. <laughs> At least you're keeping yourself out of trouble. That's the main thing, I think. You know, I feel that way. You know, I made those little fabric bowls for my two of my nieces who had birthdays, <coughs> and I'm hoping they should get them hopefully this week. Um, Kelly, a you didn't get your package yet. I'm assuming. <clears throat> That's just a question. I, you know, um, it's, it, I, I'm not sure. I know Man Munchkin mailed them off, but I don't think he gave me the paperwork. So uh, I will have to ask him if there was any traceable number. So, but it should be there soon. It's a little brown envelope. No, not yet. Okay, okay, all right. We'll keep an eye out for it, darling. I use my fancy red marker. <laughs> a little brown envelope. Actually, what, what did the envelopes look like? Here we go. There we go. So you know, it's it's kind of one of those envelopes. It fits right in the, a little uh, panel or a meter of uh, fabric fits one of these envelopes just fine. So, okay, just so you know. That's from my post office. It should be this week, I'm certain. Well, I, I figure, I guess, maybe the holidays with Good Friday and... Do they call it Easter Sunday and Easter Monday in the States? Or is it just only Easter Sunday? I mean, some businesses call it Easter Monday, so I don't really, you know, know what the jivvy jivvy is on some of the things. So maybe, 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 I don't know, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm hoping. And I'm sorry I got it out late. I, I realized after the fact as I was mailing my nieces out, I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot Kelly. <laughs> Just Easter Sunday? Okay. All right. Okay. Because I remember some places calling Easter Monday, so... Oh, okay. Is it actually a Monday holiday and we're just taking Sunday in lieu of? Or is it actually a Sunday holiday and we're taking Monday as a... Just call it Easter Sunday. Okay. All right, Hilti. Gotcha. Sorry to hear about the, your migraine. Says, oh, I'm sorry, Sass has a migraine. Aww. Hello, Pam Baker. What you been doing, girlfriend? <laughs> My fellow crossing guard who's not crossing guarding. <laughs> I tell you, that's the weirdest feeling in the whole wide world is not being at work. I feel like we're on summer vacation, but we're not. So, Hello, Gita. Back home from Trinidad. We had off from Friday to Monday. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. So you get the whole, the whole sh uh, sh shebang. Sh shimmy shebang thingy going on. Easter Monday, but hope... But back to work. Yeah, that's why I wasn't sure, Betty, because I know some businesses are weird in regards to that, whether it's uh, a holiday or not. 
on the Monday, so it's kind of a hit or a miss, right? So I wasn't sure if it was a Sunday or a Monday for most people classifying it as, because I thought it was Easter Monday, but... Because if you calculate the way that why we celebrate the holiday, it would be Monday, right? So... Or why we should be celebrating the holiday. Uh, from Paisley, Florida uh, area, Lois got me hooked on your tutorials. <laughs> Love Munchkin's quilt, of course, being uh, Mima of Munchkin uh, Kid. Do not wrong. <laughs> Thanks, Becky. <laughs> I'm sure he appreciates you being in his court, <laughs> cheering him on. <laughs> Thank you for being here. <laughs> we love Lois. We love Lois so much. Actually, we had shrimp last night, and Lois had sent Munchkin some uh, seasoning to go for seafood, and I forgot to I forgot to tell him that you know Pat pretty much puts it on everything. So uh, he goes, "Well, that would have been nice to know." He goes, "Though it didn't really need it last night." I'm like, "Okay, good," but you know, I, we have some we have some white fish in the freezer, and none of us seem to like white fish for some particular reason. So I thought maybe some of that seasoning might uh, <laughs> might be okay. <laughs> So I'm not really doing anything here besides um, uh, looking nice to my own pleasing eye, and which is stitching on either side of a line to give some sort of depth and dimension to the sides of the bags. So uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm not wasting thread. I do have a purpose for it. It's more of a design aspect for me of what I would like to look at at the side of my bag. So. That's what I'm doing here, so you can see. And then I'll trim all this jibby jibby stuff up, okay? Mm-hmm, that's what we're doing. All right, next, here. I kind of want to look like a bit of a wackadoodle tartan. You know, a little wackadoodle plaid mix. My half square triangles that I've collected for like three years. I think the final amount was like six seventy five, wasn't it? Wasn't that what you what you what you um, bid there between Donna and Kelly A? I think that was her winning bid. That's why she won the purple panel. And we just need Donna to step up so she can send us an email so we can send her the panel. I'm trying to try and get it to her. <laughs> it's hard to get it to her if she's hiding. <laughs> uh, six eighty. Okay, yeah. Okay. Six eighty two, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was it was really close. I mean, I knew it was like around six seventy five. I just don't remember the exact number number. So, yeah, I knew it was six hundred and over fifty, but it wasn't seven hundred. That was that was kind of like the main thing in my mind. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was fun, fun, fun. Be able to incorporate all these projects from years ago and make myself something really fun and quirky for myself. And that's why I'm kind of making sure to spend the extra time on doing the extra stitching, because I want to, once I put this together, this sucker's staying together, man. I ain't not picking it apart. <laughs> once was enough, Batman. No thanks. Snow coming, to, oh, Christina, we had snow two days in a row. Thursday and Friday morning, we woke up to snow everywhere. And then pop, Pop says to me, goes, why Jordan snow? I go, I don't know where the snow. <laughs> I didn't order nothing. <laughs> didn't even order, order Amazon Prime. <laughs> All right, now we got this bag to do. All right, let's get this done quickly. And then we can start putting this bag together because I think at that point in time, we're all cut up. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I, I didn't order no 
show snow. Why are you blaming me for the snow? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I feel like I'm bobbing list at this point in time. What happened? I am. I am bobbing list. Oh, whoa. 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 It's a good thing I got another one lined up. I am prepared. In any emergency situation, I am prepared. Not to worry, I am prepared. <laughs> He's like a robot. Oh, awesome, Helly. I'm so happy to hear some positive feedback. We've had a lot of negative, so it's nice to be able to hear some positive. Thank you very much, darling. That was big hugs to you. Thank you for saying something positive about it. You know, we've had negative in the beginning, and it was just kind of like trying to fight or trying to bail out a sinking ship, and it was like, I don't, we don't know what to do to help please everybody who wanted specific things. And... <laughs> We're trying to get away from Facebook because it's a very manipulative and easily to hack sort of situation for people to share their stuff, you know. We're trying to think of the safety of our members as A number one, and yet yeah, we were getting fought on every turn by some. So we're just trying to do the best that we can for us peoples. Oh, thank you, Anne. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for, for saying something positive. Appreciate it. Pop worked really, really hard. Three days he spent working on that. So he had to learn a whole new, we had to buy software and we had to do this and we had to do that and tweak this and tweak that. And, you know, I know it wasn't easy for him. So I appreciate the time and effort he made into it. Okay, so here... Uh oh, here comes trouble back again. T R O U B L E spells Mr. Clive Magoo to me. <laughs> Are you Mr. Clive Magoo? All right. Hi, buddy. What's going on? Hi, Trouble. <laughs> Meow. What's going on? What's going on, kitty cat Coco? Oh, thank you, Joy. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Every little bit helps. Thank you very much. Every little bit helps for us to be successful. It really does. Every, every, every little, every little thingy counts. Mm -hmm. One of my very good friends who gets on my hubby's nerves lives in Colorado. Okay, well that's, I guess that's good. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Should we be celebrating or? Now, you probably don't have to put this much work into making a bag, but I'm doing it my way because it's my bag and I really want this sucker to last. So, you know, I've spent all these years of collecting the darn things to begin with. Now, to make them into something, I really want the bag to last. So, I'm, I'm just reinforcing it and making it look pretty to my eyes of looking at it. I did with black thread on the sides with gray on either side of the black and then I've done just gray on the sides and the bottom. So that's how I've split this color stitching out. I just didn't want anything to take away from it. What are you doing, buddy? Come here. Come here. Want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Come here. Up here. Up here. Come on, old man. 
All right, come on. <laughs> what are you doing? Wow. <laughs> you want to pick you up? <laughs> really? <laughs> you weren't being very cooperative. Do you want to be picked up or not? <laughs> come here. Oh, man. All right, let's give you your two minutes. Oh, thank you, Joy. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Oh, that's very nice of you. We appreciate that. <laughs> Anybody want snow? I can send some. Yeah, no kidding, Beverly. We got some ourselves. Uh, I've got to go. Deanna's here cleaning her bedroom. The kids are moving back in. I'm helping. Have a great week. See you next weekend. Peace. Okay, Lois. We need to chat this week. What the heck? <laughs> Holy moly. All right, you take care. Big hugs. Big hugs. Big hugs. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Wow, moving back in. Oh, boys. Oh, boysies. <laughs> oh, boysy. <laughs> no, just no. I hear you quilting for the soul. I hear you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Get your motor running. Get out on the highway. <laughs> Looking for adventure. For whatever comes our way. Born to be wild. Play the cat guitar. <laughs> All right. Bye, kitty. Comic show over with. <laughs> Hello, Marguerite. Oops, oops, oops. There goes the battery pack. <coughs> Poor cat. No, he's fine, Beverly. <laughs> he's not tortured. <laughs> don't, don't feel sad for the cat. <laughs> he's a pain in the butt most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tea, Deborah. Just a tea. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, I think, did I get everything I wanted on both these? Yes, that, uh... Oh, oh, looks like I missed one row on this side to go on the other side of the black. Okay, all right, so that's okay. We're almost there. We start building this together. Uh, song impersonation segment? <laughs> Maybe, Jackie. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, da, da, da. Here, I only got, yeah, I only got half done. Okay, I'll do it on this side. So I can see it. Uh, he doesn't want to go anymore anytime. Motel to Denver and she called me on the phone and asked us where we were. Oh, heck, broke loose. <laughs> All craziness broke loose. This is gonna make such an awesome bag. Mm -hmm. Mama Pop duet. <coughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Pop doesn't like to sing with me. I'm too controlling, I think. <laughs> Buffering, uh oh. Doing laundry and sewing. There we go, B uh, Bettina. There you go. I'm gonna keep yourself out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Pop, I also find you very talented with the PC and very helpful to others as they ask questions. Well, thank you, Vicky. That's very nice. I'm sure he appreciates that. Very nice to hear. It's always nice to know when you're doing a good job. 
even when some people don't understand the job that you you do in the first place, right? So they just think it's magic behind the scenes when it really takes somebody with an immense amount of talent and patience and knowledge to do the do the task at hand. So. Why do you think the cross stitch streams were a hit or a miss? <laughs> Like, I don't know if we're going to be successful here, but we're going to try. <laughs> you pick a song. That'll be like the next live stream, the 12 hour live stream. Pick a song, Laura Lynn will sing it if she knows it. There we go. Might have to hum a few bars for me. <laughs> but I'll get it. I'm pretty good. I actually asked Pop. If it has to do with songs, um, I've got a, I got a weird memory for songs. Are you going to line? Yeah, I am, Ann. I've got purple fabric. Oh, not purple. I'm sorry. I don't know where I was going with there. Uh, orange fabric. Orange fabric to line my bag. And I think we're about ready to get started on that there, darling. I think we are. Uh, just trying to make sure everybody is cross-hatched. And I think we are there. That's the bottom. That's one. Of, oh, no, that's one of the sides. Okay, so this is this is one of the big sides. <clears throat> we'll go up to the main camera first here. Oh, I just don't want my tea to go too, too cold. Okay. So there is the one of the sides, the big sides. Here's two of the shorter but long sides. Here's the bottom and here's the other side. And then here's two pockets. And of course, I've just pinned this down here because I figured when I sew it down, because what I did at the top, I just put two seams uh, to stitch it down and give it a little bit of um, bulk. So when I go to put something in there, I know it's, you know what I mean? It's got a little bit more stability along the top. That's why I put two seams. Oh, excuse me. It's not magic. <laughs> it's your pop secret grand wizard. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is what is going to go on here. Lots of color, my goodness. Can't wait to do something with it. And of course, I cut these little pieces a little bit bigger so I can trim up. So, when, you know, once you quilt stuff down or get it stitched down, you, you it, it always seems to shrink because you're stitching so much on it. So I'd rather do a little bit bigger and trim up. So uh, in the last four weeks, I only sewed month. Mouth and nose protective mat. Oh, that's well, I guess so. That's good. That's good. Lots of people are doing them, so. Oh, no, I don't think so either, there, Ann. No, for sure. For sure. No, no. Not, not I mean, you know, maybe as eclectic color wise and number wise, but definitely not the same fabrics for sure and how it's put together. It's unique. And then with the stitching, it kind of breaks up a bit of the half squares a little, a little bit. Uh, so you almost have to look for the half squares. Do you, do you, you know what I mean? So because of the, the way it's, it's been stitched down. So Sheriff's department. Oh, very nice, Betty. That's good. I've been asked by a local nursing home to make 40, um, scrubs the outfits and they said they would supply the cotton uh, but asked how much material would cost to make each one but like i don't know i'd have to take one of theirs apart to be able to gauge the material like i'm just guessing that i've never made them before so to me they just seem like a big old nighty but you know we'll, we'll go from there so I, I emailed them this morning so we'll see how it goes I'm, I'm trying to help you know i'm not turning any work down so What are, what is everybody else doing? Anybody else got anything exciting in their cup besides, you know, disappearing tea? Our 222 of us in 70 thumbs up. If you haven't given a thumbs up, please do so. And we are going to be working on uh, the Polaroid blocks from last year. This date, strangely enough, from April 11th, 
2019, we did the the weekend project of how to do the Polaroid block and the size is necessary to have the block done. So go check it out. And uh, if you want yours included in this quilt that we're going to be doing, then please, you know, make it up and send it to me because we're going to be working on this for a couple weeks. So hot cross buns. I've never made hot cross buns in my life. Cold coffee. I kind of feel that same way about my tea right now, Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> you make a mask and I'm tired of them? I, I bet. I bet. Mountain Dew? Ooh. Been making fabric Easter eggs. I thought those were cute. I saw a couple of those um, videos out there for making fabric Easter eggs. Dresses and vests? Oh, that sounds nice, Aunt B. Uruguay tea, says Sarah Day. Very nice. Margaritas, maybe later. <laughs> Atta a girl, Kelly. <laughs> Just join for the first time and see what this is all about. I quilt, paper, craft, knit, and needlepoint. Well, how, welcome to the group there, Carrie. Do you have any questions? Let me know. How about her? I'm Laura Lynn. Sometimes you'll see Pop in the corner somewhere. I don't know. He's hiding today. He might, he might pop up. So we're from Ontario, Canada, and we stream every Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. And well, most, my mom just recently passed away, so we missed a Saturday. But we have been working on this half square triangle bag that I've been collecting. And if you know, if you're a sewer, you get half square triangle extra bits left, right, and center. So this is 675 half square triangles going to be made into a bag today. That is what's going on. And my cup is empty. <laughs> Bad hair day pop. I don't know about that, Helly. <laughs> Welcome to the group. Yes, I'm making Polaroid block. This weekend was dealing with mom's estate last year when we were all doing those. So glad. Yes, I'm happy you can too, Kelly. A. I'm, I'm kind of glad I held off on it for a little while. So if anybody wants to partake, go take a look at the video. Just do a search on the Mama Pop Quilt Shop website for Polaroid block and it'll pop up there. It was April 11th, 2020. Or, sorry, 2019. I apologize. This is the 20. Mm-hmm. Indeed, indeed. Okay, so what I would like to do is first move my pockets off to the side. I'm going to trim my sides because it's a little bit bigger than my foamy bits. So, oh, thank you, Carrie. I, it, she, she was a wonderful, wonderful woman. She didn't quite make it to her 75th birthday. So she, she passed away actually on my son's birthday. So that was uh, less than three weeks ago. So... Three weeks tomorrow. Okay, and this is a bit of a gap in here, so I guess we're gonna have to trim this half square just a bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're a good group, group of people. Happy you're here. You're more than welcome to share anything you're working on via our website, which is www.wesowit.com. And you, you don't have to pay to join. And you, if you do, you get extra bonuses and, and get entered into, you get your, uh, they, the videos early every, every time. And you get entered into winning, being able to win a quilt that we work on as a, as a private uh, video for those members. So, and actually I can show you which one we're working on come this week. So if you were interested about joining, we're gonna be doing that one. Hello, Miss Allison, late to the party. That's okay. Here, I'll put it up to the iron camera so you can really see it. Okay. And it's called Color Block Kit. It looks really adorable. And there's lots of beautiful, beautiful color here. So what I do is I put it together for a couple of months. Oops, sorry. Apologize, air pop. Um, uh, for a couple of months. And then we, auction, we give it away to one of our viewers. Our, our fans that uh, help contribute and help get the quilt shout out every month. We have had many winners so far. And um, Miss Gwenny was the latest. Actually, no one who else was, Anne was actually the latest, latest. There we go. She's in the chat. 
I still have yet to put hers on the long arm, but you get a chance to, uh, yeah, you must be a paid member for the giveaway. Um, you get a chance to pick your backing, you get a chance to pick your stitch out, you get a chance to pick your thread and what sort of batting you would like, all for helping the quilt shop out on a um, monthly basis. So, yes, those are, those are the beautiful, beautiful rewards. Help being a member, a paid member. So we appreciate every single one who help us out. And we have like a little video chat session or a talk session about what's what's what. And what we want where. I'm so excited. All right, so I'm going to leave the bottom kind of rough the way it is because I know my backing is bigger than my foam, but I wanted to be able to trim to fit if necessary, like when we get to that part. So I do have this bright, beautiful, lovely orange that we're going to be using for the inside of this bag project. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm a little confused. The instructions on the website for the one block is different each month. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry I missed that. Polaroid block. It shouldn't be different. It's right there. Doo, 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 doo. <clears throat> Your favorite color? It, it, it wasn't necessarily my favorite. In fact, it's my mom's least favorite color. <laughs> but I really like I really like it, it as its color, you know what I mean? And to go with this bag. I thought it would be nice brightness to, I didn't want anything dark, because then it's just gonna pick out all the dark colors within the, the, the bag project itself. So I thought if I did something light, then it would help lighten it, right? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, miss, I'm missing what happened. That's okay. All right, so what are these? These are, and of course we can always trim these to fit. These are 19 inches. On the average, 19 inches by six. 19 by six. Okay, so my bottom is 20 by seven on the foam, okay. And then these sides are 20 by 19. That should be, oh, uh oh, crubbly wubbly. Okay, 20 by 19. It's a little bit over there. Oh, I could have got it, honey. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. <coughs> Thanks. Thanks, crew. <laughs> Thanks, crew helper. <laughs> uh, sorting out my yarn yesterday, and oh my, the leftovers are pretty piling up there, too. Then you should make one of these, Helly. You should make one of these. Oops. I poked it in there. Make some of those and sell them or give them away as gifts. That was yesterday's weekend project. Isn't that pretty? That was just with yarn. Isn't that kind of fun? And of course you could stabilize this too if you wanted. If he was going up against the wall and nobody was gonna see the backside, you could, you know, like done some like a spray starch or something like that. So yeah, I don't know. I was trying to think of how I could honor my mom with her going up to heaven, you know, because she's you know not even three weeks yet past so how can I make something for each of my nieces and nephew and my nephew James um, and uh, to kind of help on her as well as my sisters right so I, don't know, I thought it was cute I thought it was really cute no something 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 keep me out of trouble <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go grab some water because my coffee cup is empty. So give me like two minutes. So give me like a minute. Okay, all right.
come put my pants here. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Hold on. Wrap my beautiful pendant. Hold on. I'll, actually, hold on. Go back back to Lois here because Munchkin distracted me with his 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 cutesiness and his gift. So Lois gifted me two Dresden plates. Okay, and these are from officially Layer Cake. Hold on, Layer Cake Dresden plate from Missouri Star Quilt Company. So she gifted me two of these. So on our 12 hour live stream, we're gonna give one away. And not only will we give one away, I will give you a meter of fabric that I have here to go with it. And I'm gonna take my meter of fabric of the same, whatever you choose, cause you're gonna have like maybe 40 choices to choose from of a meter of. So that'll be another part of your gift or your, your, for your giveaway. And I'm going to do the same and we're going to make something with it, with our Dresden plates. And we're going to see what we're going to do with them. Okay. Aren't they cool? So thank you, Lois. So I thought that was a fantastic idea. So if I give the ruler away and one meter of fabric and you show me what you do with yours and I'll show you what I do with mine and we'll make it a collaborative effort and maybe we'll give it away for charity. So, I mean, it depends on who wins it. So, you know, you know, whatever's up to you. So I literally have like about 40 bits of fabric here that you could choose a meter of. And I'm happy to take a picture of every single one so you can see it. And uh, yeah, and we'll be there. And I'll also have another, um, charm pack. I have another charm pack to give away as well as uh, a panel to give away. So we'll have like four or five giveaways on the 12 hour. Okay. So hopefully people come and hang out, hang out with us. You have to be in the chat at the time of the draw to win. So when we call your name, if you don't say you're here, you don't get to win. So you have to, you have to be ready. So we'll do it throughout the, the 12 hours. We'll have a couple of giveaways and we'll spread it out. Okay. And we'll hopefully we'll do the whole show and share. I'm happy to do that. That was such a good time. The last time we missed out on it the last time, I think, cause we were just too focused on Munchkin's birthday. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there, but I love the whole show and share. So yeah. So be prepared the 25th of April. Uh, and also she gave me this beautiful little pendant here. I put it up on the, the fishy, uh, light, um, light fan thingy here and I probably can't unwrap it, but what I was going to do with it is on the inside of this bag on this pocket here, I thought about putting a zipper or making out of half square triangles, a little pocket about this, maybe this size, a little bit smaller sort of thing, pocket with a zipper and then attaching this on it. So it stayed there as a little, a decorative up on top of a zipper. So I haven't decided, but I love it greatly. It's beautiful. It's got a huge tree on it. It's done with wire. Munchkin and Pop and I were just absolutely intrigued by how it came together. Um, we think it's absolutely beautiful. So thank you very much for that, Lois. So let me just wrap this up a bit here. So it's not hanging in my face, <laughs> but I put it up here immediately. I was like, that's it. It's going right up here on top of the fishy. There we go. Perfect. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Big hugs, Lois. So I'm going to actually put it inside my bag. I'm going to use it as a, like a little zipper, little catchment thorny sort of thing. So hopefully that works. Um, 25th. Yeah. 25th. You bet from nine to nine Eastern. 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. <laughs> Not be 9 p.m. That's the whole different 12 hours. I'd be sleeping then. You want to watch me sleep? <laughs> That's not going to work. So, and you only have, I think, three, four more days to bid on this one before uh, it goes off to the highest bidder of the silent auction. And we just have to add the eyebrows and the eyes mm. to this beautiful owl project that we've been working on. Okay. It matches up beautifully, came together well. Um, I had a little bit of issue with it, but you know, Lori man didn't have any issues. So maybe it was me. Maybe it was the way that I cut it. Uh, I'm, 
I'm not saying it's the patterns issue. I always said it was probably something to do with me than anything else. So um, if, if you want to bid on that, there's your chance. So hopefully, and whoever gets to, um, whoever gets to win it gets to pick how it gets quilted, your batting, your backing, your thread color. Those are all your choices when this gets finished, okay? So thank you, thank you. I appreciate all your help. No, this is not the Clive show. <laughs> as much as you think it is, it's not. <laughs> there we go. It's Halloween. It's a Halloween project. <laughs> Drape the cat. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's so late for you, Sassolette. <laughs> Uh, Super L, I bought that when they first came out with M and now, and no meter of fabric. What do you mean with M? Mm, Vicky, what are you talking about? Bids in. <laughs> have hooks up for yeah, and that's it too. If you want it as a bed quilt or if you want it as a hanging quilt, I can totally do that as long as I know before. I'm finishing it all together. I mean, those are your choices. You can have it as a wall hanging. Um, you can do whatever you like. He is a beautiful cat. He's a, he's a pain in the butt sometimes, though, Suzanne. And I, I happily give him away for free. <laughs> Only on some days. But Munchkin would fight me every bit of the way, wouldn't he, Pop? <laughs> uh, Sophie! Sophie! Come, come. There she is. Oh, she's bringing a container. She wants you to put peanut butter in it. Come on. There you go. Show them your container. There you go. Show them your container. There's Sophie, says Linda. Where is Sophie? There she is. She wants you to put peanut butter in it, so put peanut butter in it, okay? <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. What's the door? one? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie the from Max hi hi Sophie from Maximus. Yes, there we go. She is totally adorable. I absolutely love her. Absolutely love her. You can show your good side or your bad side. Come on. Come on. Come say hi. Come on, come on. There you go. There you show show everybody your container. Yeah. If you hold it the other way, people might put money in it. And it, you can say, Can I have some more, please? <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. I just love her. I absolutely love my pupper whoppers. <laughs> she, uh, what do we have? Mm, you guys eat the peanut butter. What is it? Squirrel? What is it, Pop? I don't know what peanut butter you guys have. Sorry? I can't hear you. Jiffy? Jiffy? Is it Jiffy? I don't think it's Jiffy. Sorry? Yeah, what do we have? <laughs> you guys eat it, I don't. <laughs> what is the peanut butter we have? Kraft. Kraft peanut butter. Yeah. The green one. <laughs> like I would know. <laughs> Some foreign thing. Foreign. To me it's foreign. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. I do love Clive. I love cats. Not so much, darn. And we have a home in the country with lots of mice. He should adore cats, right? <laughs> Is that your husband? Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't like peanut butter. Well, we weren't sure if the peanut butter was uh, making her one of her ears feel weird or something. Remember, because last live stream, or not live stream, sorry, last 12 hour live stream, she was doing the whole head tilted thing and we couldn't figure that out. And, and it stopped afterwards. I mean, I'm like, what the heck? Does Clive do this every time he's so? Uh, only when I'm talking to myself, Nadine. 
That's when Clive gets in the way. <laughs> That's when Clive thinks it's Clive time, is when Mommy's talking to herself. And it was funny because earlier I was, I was sitting here and I was sewing. I was doing the cross hatching sort of thing on the, the, the bag, side of the bag. And I was talking to Munchkin. But he was, he was coming up, like pretending to me. And I said, listen, buddy, I am not talking to myself. I'm talking to your other human. <laughs> he didn't seem to care. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure exactly, Angela, but for some reason, every time she has peanut butter, her, she, I don't know, her, she twists her head differently. She seems to favor one ear. It's, it, and it seems warm a little bit. Like, I don't know. It's a little bizarre. Uh, that's the only thing I can connect. The two is the peanut butter. So between her scratching her ear and having a bad ear night. Or something like that uh, and it's yeah it's, it's a little bizarre it really is yeah so only four more days on that owl quilt so if you want to put in your bid put it in other than that the highest bidder is going to get an email and then hopefully we can set up a video chat that would be lovely to be able to set up a video chat so you can tell me how, uh, how you would like it quilted, what sort of thread you would like, and what sort of backing you would like, because I have a few options here. I have flannel, I have cotton, you know, I have, I have white, I have, you know, dark, I have, you know, whatever, whatever, we, we can work it out. We can work it out. I'm very, very excited. Very excited by this, that's for sure. Okay, so what do we need? We needed 19 inches. Yeah, two and 19 inches for the sides. Let's get that sorted. Oh, bye, Hildy. Oh, you leaving? I will catch you all later. I gotta go to the store and pick up medicine, so I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Big, big hugs, big hugs. I will continue the cross stitch project, so look forward to the um, um, mom and pop quilt shop guild website as well as the one that we pay post to Facebook not the mafia page but the mama pop quilt shop to uh, Facebook uh, and we'll let you know hopefully the day of we're doing the stream by a couple hours okay so you can come hang out with us for the cross stitch I would love to finish it it means more now of the sisters of the flower pots than it ever did before now that my mom has passed you know what I mean so I would really like to get it finished I don't want to leave it as one of those UFOs so I would really like to get it finished. And quilt and doing cross stitching with you guys would, you know, be a nice relief. I just wasn't in the mood this week. And I thought I would be, but I just wasn't. And I apologize. Just, just not quite ready yet. Not quite ready. All right, so this can go into the scrappy pile. Okay, I'll wait for the day that you do that same. Probably be Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm going to say Tuesday or Wednesday right now. Probably more like Wednesday because Tuesday I have to go get groceries from Walmart. <laughs> it took a week, a week to order groceries from Walmart. Can you believe that? Oh my goodness. That's our pickup time. So let's say, let's say Wednesday, okay? Oh, thank you, Ann. I appreciate that. But I feel, I feel like sometimes I do. I feel like, uh, like I should I should have kept up, kept up with things, and I I know you guys are like hey, it's okay, Lorlin. You don't have to. It's all right. Your mom passed. It's it's no big deal. We understand. But as as a person who's constantly trying to be consistent, it's hard to um, to not think in that manner. Right, was it 19 by 20? Is that what I needed for this guy? I think it was 19 by 20. It's a little bit bigger than 20. 19, okay, let's do 19 by 20. Okay, so let's do 19 this way. Do, do, because we know we got 20 the other way. These are, we're doing our inside pieces right now. 
Oh, I wish you could give me a big hug too. <laughs> it was funny. My neighbor literally just on the other side of the barn that's been rebuilt. Actually, I talked to him this morning. Strangely enough, I had, I had his, his friend's dog in my yard, which put me into panic attack because I didn't know whether it was friendly or not. And Sophie and I were outside and all of a sudden I see this big dog bounding around the corner going. And I'm like, you know, I literally ran up to the deck, opened the door and said, you know, Munchkin, I need your help because I, I didn't see anybody else but this dog. Uh, and it's kind of a rotty sort of mix. I didn't know exactly what it was. So I didn't know whether it was friendly or not friendly or what have you. I didn't know where it came from. So, but <laughs> it was kind of like, ah, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it was panic attack mode. <laughs> Yeah, I know. and then it was like, I, you know, I could really use a hug from some people right now. I really could. I really, really could. All right, here be the 20. Okay, here's the 20 by 19 for each side. Okay. Lovelies. That's our sides. We've got our side bits right there. We've got our bottom bit. We need to section out our bottom bit. These were six, weren't they? I believe. So we need to make sure that is at least six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. <clears throat> so anyways, it was just my neighbor's friend's dog. So he came around the corner just shortly after I came into the house or, or opened the door and said, Hey, Munchkin, I need your help. Cause I, you know, I was like, how would I can't contain this weird dog or, or, or stray dog and, and trying to contain Sophie all at the same time. So, cause she was like, Oh, a new friend. Whoa. <laughs> you know, I'm like, no, no, not new friend. <laughs> back off, back off. <laughs> so it was good. alert, alert, alert. <laughs> Nonetheless, it was just a neighbor's dog. So he actually <laughs> said, hey, I meant to talk to you about curtains and stuff for my windows. I said, oh, have you moved in? He goes, yeah, I have. So I'm like, sweet. You let me know what sizes you need. <laughs> just email me. <laughs> I'm happy to help you. Aw, oh, thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Big, big hugs, big hugs. It's been rough. It's been uh, a rough few weeks, you know. It's, uh... Life is not easy. It has its ups and its downs, that's for sure. So it's it's hard to I guess gauge what is good and what is not, you know what I mean? So Hello Lori Miller. Hello social Oh I'm okay. <laughs> Anyways, my neighbor who who'd went away, she went to go visit her dad in Ottawa and, you know, had her daughter with her. So uh, my other neighbor was, you know, checking on her cat and cleaning out her fridge. And she said, hey, do you want stuff for your chickens? I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm unfortunately my chickens have died. And she said, well, do you want any milk? And I said, I'll, of course, I'll take the milk. So <laughs> I took the milk. <laughs> I love it when a neighbor helps. <laughs> okay, what was this one we needed? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we just need six. Because this is only six, right? All right, so we need to trim. Which side are we trimming? Uh, saying bye, our grandson out front. Oh, okay, bye. I'm happy, Allison. I'm happy your grandson's there. That's awesome. That's awesome such a good thing. <laughs> I bet he's just adorable too. And it's so hard for the little ones to understand what's going on right now, right? Excuse me, even the ones in school, my girlfriend's kids, you know, she's like, they just don't understand. They can't see their friends. They don't understand. They can't do this. They can't do that. So I'm like, <sighs> fortunately, it's just the way it is though, right? Yeah, exactly. Happy, uh, happy Easter. Very nice, Anne. Thank you very much. Four years since uh, I have seen them. Now Michigan has issued a no travel and other residents. Or yeah, I know we can't leave Ontario either. 
you know, they're asking us not to. For the safety of, of all, really, really, you have to take into consideration of all at this point in time. I don't want my, you know, if I were to go to, um, you know, when my mom was first, her health was first failing, I, you know, I thought, oh, I, I should probably go. And then this whole thing started to outbreak to the point where it was like isolation and it can transfer this way and that way. I'm like, oh, maybe this is not such a good idea. You know, what if, what if I get, not that I was, you know, thinking I might get stuck, but you know, like what if, right? Yeah, they're, they're, my grandson is 10 and got confused today and came in and raced upstairs to my son's room. It is confusing. It's confusing for everybody. They don't understand. Right? So I can't imagine the senior citizens in homes waiting for people to come and talk to them and stuff like that. Like that's got to be just the, the weirdest, the weirdest thing. Okay, that should be the bottom. Okay, so that should be the bottom, the sides, and the sides. Okay, I think we can pretty much put this thing shindiggy together. Okay. Should we do the inside first or the outside first? Oh, we didn't do the handles. Did I have fabric for handles? Mm, I think I did. Oops, hold on. Sorry, mini camera. I did. There we go. <laughs> Who made this mess? Good gravy. Holy moly. <laughs> I don't come make a mess of your shop now, do I? <laughs> Who made a mess over here? <laughs> Kick it out of the way. <laughs> okay, and the handles were 20 by Oh, sorry, 25 by four, right? Yeah, thought that would be a nice handle size. Yeah, all right, so we'd have to cut that out. And we'll probably piece this one together. I don't mind being a pieced handle. Is that gonna be enough? No, it's not. Okay, might have been enough, it wouldn't be good, but it's not gonna be. So we need this. Nope. So 25. So we need a strip of 4 by 25. Mm -hmm. uh, I laugh. My dad is in care facility, is 98, and the one who keeps cheering up, the one cannot understand. Yeah, I know it's hard. It's hard. And at least he's optimistic, at least there, Gwenny, to be able to um, cheer the ones up who are depressed that their their families are coming to visit them. So, yeah, I can't imagine. I can't imagine um, trying to trying to deal with it nowadays. You know, like really, that's crazy. Four. Uh, I feel sorry for high school seniors. My great niece is missing out on all of her senior special events and no graduate. I know, isn't that horrible? Some schools have called to wait till the end of the year. Ours so far is May 4th. We're going back May 4th, May 6th. I can't believe, uh, whatever the Monday is after this whole, at, at the end of the month, um, whatever that Monday is, that's when we're supposed to go back so far. But I have a feeling that's going to be changed. I really do. So, and I do, I feel, I feel bad for those kids that are going to miss out on all these things that they should have been enjoying, right? Yeah, exactly, Heather, right? Your son's a senior in high school. Like, there's all these huge, huge things that they're missing out on, and they don't get a chance to partake in them. And it it's really sucks because of, you know, someone decided to eat a bat. Like, really? All right, so those are our handly bits. We'll handle those later. <laughs> get it? We'll handle those later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Oh, someone's walking their two, like, Burmese mountain dogs. They're big. They're huge. All right, so let's build this out because it's going to be the inside is the same as the outside, except it's going to be orange. So what we could do is build our sides. Okay, here and oh, here. I feel it. I miss my mama junior prom. Yeah, no, I understand there, Niku. It's hard. It's hard dealing with your without your, your parents there to help cheer you on. It really is. Max's weight is 110. Wow, he's big one. What? Sophie's only like 40, 45 maybe, I think. Last time we had her weighed, so. All right, so what I want to do is do I want to put the sides together with the bottom and then attach it to the sides? Or do I want to put the sides on and attach the bottom? Hmm. <laughs> and then we can put the bottom on here. I don't think it really is going to matter overly much. So let's attach this and this to that. Okay, let's do this. Line up our six and a half, six inch width of the bottom of our sides and the bottom of our bag. And we're just gonna do a quarter inch seam allowance, a little back stitch there. Come up, do another little back stitch there. And then come over to the other side, which is supposed to be 20, right? Yep, we did trim it, okay, wanted to make sure. And then we'll, which side do we want at the bottom? Mm, let's put this one, there we go. Give the smally bits to the top. Line that up, stick it under. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell anybody who we were uh, coming to see when we were coming to uh, Victoria's wedding in July that the wedding has been postponed. So I don't know when they're getting married but they will get married. Okay. All right, there's our bottom and our sides. Woot. Check that out. Uh, what's up, Vicky? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I forgot why. <laughs> you losing it? <laughs> In 10 or more minutes, the four tenors are going, oh, well, that's lovely, Vicki. I'll take that. That's, that's, that. that's a good one. They're, they're, they're good people. So. All right, so now we're going to do the same. Uh-oh, did I? Hold on, those should be our sides. Right, yes. And this can't be our bottom. No, because it's too wide. We need a 20 bottom, right? I didn't do it. Wasn't me. I don't know what you heard. Wasn't me. All right, <laughs> we need to get this one here. Do, do, do. Yeah, you did exactly. Someone else fess up to it. I'm not fessing up to it. <laughs> All right, let's put these guys together here. It's the same as the top. The outside is the inside. Let's make our progress successful here. Oh, 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 oh. Seems we come unthreaded. 
we've come undone. Yeah, I made waffles for the boys yesterday morning for breakfast. I'd pretty much wake Munchkin up though before it was lunchtime saying, hey, do you want your waffles for breakfast or would you like them for lunch? <laughs> But because it was a, a holiday, Good Friday, he didn't have to be up for school, so I don't blame him for trying to sleep in. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have selective memory too. <laughs> hair syndrome. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I got blonde hairs too, so. <laughs> All right, so there's our bottom and sides of inside and bottom and sides of outside. Now we get to pretty much attach it to each other here. Let's see if this is our widest. It is our widest. All right, so let's go here and here. And spin. Uh, I got tired of that one. <laughs> I was taking the dog and going for a walk in the neighborhood. Very nice, Suzanne. Hopefully he, he, he's successful with the dog walking. <laughs> we, had, we had a neighbor's dog show up on our lawn. Uh, when my dad was alive, he used to call it old timer's disease. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Monday to Friday around here. <laughs> Old timer's disease. Can only remember stuff some of the times. <laughs> okay, so we got that side up. And then let's pin this side down. Let's see, do I want, oh, I don't know, you know, I'm just putting them on. I, whatever, whatever, which way it turns upright is fine by me. I'm going to be happy. <laughs> well, it's almost late. <laughs> it's like a beer. It's like a light beer. <laughs> it's beginning stages of I'm losing my poop. <laughs> Do you need to put the pockets on for? I do on these, uh, the bigger strips though. You're right. That's why I was waiting for last. I was. Yep, yep, yep. You betcha. I'm going to sew them on first before I, I put the insides together. You got that right, girlfriend. I'm listening to you. I appreciate your feedback. Thank you very much. Hello, Allison. Thank you so much. Thank you, Allison. All right. How's that coming along? I was looking good. Uh, uh, uh. Lovely. Uh, good old water. All right, let's sew these two sides on. And then we'll do the other sides. And then we'll put the pockets on. This is thick and I'm trying to get through. Sorry, my big fat head's in the way. Oh, there we go. I'm still just trying to keep a quarter inch seam allowance by lining it up against the edge of my foot. Okay, take our pins out. We'll do the other side and we'll try and do up the top before we uh, insert the uh, insert, insert of the bag, which is the orange part, right? And we, of course, have to do the pockets of that first. So let's do the side, which is the other side of the bottom, okay? We've sewed one side on already. See, we got that there. We sewed the side of the long side. And we're just gonna finish it off.
Yeah, our guild meeting for the Erin Village Quilters was canceled for the month of April, which makes sense. I wouldn't be surprised if they're canceling them until the end of the year and we just start back up in September just because of the way this is all going. I mean, I can't see anything. Oh, bye, Tammy. See you later. Big hugs. Big hugs to you. Okay, so now that we have those sit side bits there, we can kind of come up on the side side part. Let's meet up at the top first. Oh, sorry about the the sink it's <laughs> it's doing the dishwasher run <laughs> all right so we're just gonna pin all the way down the side of those two sides that we have to put the little panel parts in okay so let's do this and this and do it at the top of this and part here would I would sew the seams at the bottom twice Oh, okay, that's a good suggestion there, Pat. You know what? I'm going to do that right now. Thanks, honey. I'm going to do that right now. Oh, I must have poked myself because I'm bleeding. Uh oh, what happened? I don't see it. But there's... Good thing it's my bag. Oh, good gravy. Where is it? What the heck is going on here? <laughs> It's, it's clearly some, I've left my juju behind, but, oh, there? Weird. I don't think I poked myself there. That's crazy. Good thing it's my bag. That is crazy. I don't, know, like, I don't even know where I poked myself. I like, where are you going with that, Pat? There we go. We're going to do twice. The good thing is my bag. I mean, that's, but I don't even know where I poked. That was so crazy that all of a sudden there was, you know, blood on it. Sorry, I didn't mean to gross anybody out. I mean, that was not my intention. So sorry about that. That is just a little, a little weird when I couldn't even tell where I've been poked. To let alone leave a late, leave stuff behind. Yeah, definitely on those side parts for sure. I agree with that. Good, good call there, Pat. Good job. Mm-hmm. I like that idea. All right, let's let's go up and down the sides here then. That was a little bit weird. A little peroxide will take that. Well, I don't think anybody's gonna even see it now at this point in time. So I, I think I'm okay with it. I don't, know, I don't care. It's my blood. <laughs> I ain't gonna be I ain't gonna be weak about it. <laughs> Blood, sweat, and tears, baby. That's what went into this project. <laughs> Dang nabbits. I gave it my all. <laughs> What'd you give it? I gave it my blood all. <laughs> all right, let's do those two sides. <laughs> let's we'll pin this one and, and, and get it uh sew it down. <laughs> Holy banana cakes. Uh, where's my pin cushion? But that was so weird. Like, I couldn't even figure out where I poked me. Poked me to bleed, you know? Let alone bleed on something. Weird. Yeah, I'm really quite happy the way the OWL project turned out. I just wish it would have worked out direction-wise for me. It worked out for others. Um, Allison actually went and got a written, um, like, confirmation that that is the exact measurements that they were asking for, the 2 and 7 8. So it wasn't like a misprint or anything. Uh, because apparently when you cut it, they line up better. But I didn't really quite find that so I feel like I've, I did something wrong in the process but it still looks like a complete owl and there's no you know big mess ups or anything so I, I, I don't know just like winging it I always try to do the best I can and I try to understand the pattern and try to read the pattern 
So, okay, so there's our insides. It's a deep bag, it's not a shallow bag, that's for sure. So we're just gonna sew up the sides on either side here, okay? <clears throat> oh, sorry. Bye, Deanne. Happy Easter. Oh, bye, Deanne. See you later. Happy Easter to you. It doesn't really feel like Easter, though, does it? Not that we were really big Easter people, but, you know, at least I always try and have a chocolate bunny for the boys, but I got nothing this year. I'm going to make them um, German pancake or Dutch boy pancake in the morning, and that's about that's about all they're going to get. <laughs> and a ham, ham and mashed potatoes and asparagus. <laughs> That's all they're going to get. Guess it's better than nothing. Better than kicking the butt with a frozen muck of luck. Mm -hmm. Hello, Colleen. How are you, darling? We're working on our half square triangle bag. Check it out. 675 half square triangles of chaosness. <laughs> I'm making a bag. It's going to be cute. <laughs> I'm just doing the outside. And the beautiful orange for the inside. Isn't that lovely? It's going to be awesome. All right, so I'm just trying to sew on the sides here. I have been collecting these half square triangles for... Ooh, I don't know. What do, you, what do you say, ladies and gentlemen? Probably five years? Five years, I think. And I haven't even used them all up yet, but I wanted to make something with them because they're kind of like an off product of when you're making quilts and bags and binding and stuff like that. So, Sophie, come, come, come say hi. What are you doing? You look lonely. Sophie, Lovie needs some loving. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. Come see my Zoe. Come see Zoe. Come here. Here's your good side. It's your good side. Come on. There you go. Hi. Can they can't see you? You gotta come up all the way here. <laughs> they can't see you. They can't see you. Yeah. <laughs> She's so sweet. I just love hers. We were playing out in the yard earlier. So we we're tiring her out with her frisbee. <laughs> A task and a half. <laughs> She's good puppers. She's a good puppers. I can't believe she can be seven come next month. I can't believe she can be seven. It's like, where did the time go? My goodness. That's my Sophie McLovey or Popey. I call her Popey too. Popey Lopey. <laughs> yeah, we adopted her when she was six months old. And the first time she saw Clive, she barked and barked and barked and barked and barked. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> She's like, wait a second here. <laughs> this has been my house for a long time. <laughs> okay, we only got one more side to do here and then we can turn it right side out so you can see what the bag is going to look like and then we'll do work on the inside because we have to add our pockets to our long wide parts and then we need to make our handles as well so it's a little bit thick getting underneath the machine because of the thickness of the fabric and the foam the adhesive foam that's there as well i haven't pressed anything to keep it a number one in place i've just sewn things on so but you do have that option all right so Make sure we're good here. Make sure we got all our sidey bits. Okay, let's turn it right side out. See what it looks like. Okay. Now this is just a bag that I can take to guild meetings. I can go grocery shopping in. I can go do mailings in. I can do whatever I want in. It was just to use the half square triangles. I didn't think I had enough for a quilt, but I think at this point in time, I probably would have had enough for a small lap quilt. But I think if you collect for a few years, you could definitely have enough for a quilt. 
and go from there. Isn't that amazing? Oh my goodness. And with that orange on the inside, oh, so cute. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Oh, for sure. That way I get asked. I get asked, how'd you do that? I'm like, well, <laughs> there's a video. <laughs> there's actually a wood artist on uh, Twitch. His name is Timber Anu, and he's in the UK. And I've asked him to do like, uh, you know how there's wood spirits, like the old man wood spirit that you kind of get carved out of wood or something like that? I asked to do an old lady in representation of my mom. So I'm like super excited. So yeah, that's the bottom because we didn't want any of the Hasker triangles to get worn out. And I took a tip from our viewer on using a more of a durable fabric for the bottom. And they said bottom and sides, but I didn't think you really needed it for the side, so I did take the uh, tip for the bottom. Um, yeah, I can't wait to show the the wood carving off to you guys when it's done. And and you should guys, you guys should sign up for Twitch. I'm telling you right now, sign up for Twitch. So um, he's he's going to be he's it's going to be amazing. It's going to be done out of cherry wood too. So I'm so excited. So he's going to maybe start it next week or the week after. So I'm like totally stoked. So I get a little, a little wood spirit of my mommy in the yard. So yeah, isn't that cute? That's gonna be so amazing. Look at three years of collecting. Awesome. 670 ish half square triangles that all would have been thrown away because you know, nobody really needs them anymore. You know what I mean? They're just half time. Totally. Totally worth keeping. Okay, all right, so now let's do the inner. Let's do the pockets. Okay. Make sure we got the right piece here. Okay, there we go. I think around the 20. Yep. So we have, where's our pockets? Am I losing my stuff here? Oh, there they are. <laughs> we got one pocket for one side, which is a gray and a white and a black and a gray. What should I do, black out or gray out? Hmm, I think I like the black out. I think it's pretty, prettier that way. We don't have to center it. We can stick it anywhere we darn well like it, towards the bottom, over to the side, wherever, just as long as you're leaving enough of a seam allowance. Um, this one I kind of was designing for my phone, so I kind of would like it maybe closer to the top, and it doesn't have to be center. It can be anywhere it darn well feels like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Blackout? Yeah, I think so too, Tina. Yeah, I think so too. Just with the, the orange, I think it would look lovely. Let's see, am, am I getting a straight line here with the, uh, hold on, do, do, do. No, let's move it down a smidge. There we go. Okay. Here and here, and then we'll pin the other one, the bigger pocket. There we go. Let's we'll just sew this down here and here to attach it. Okay. And then for our other pocket, which should be 20. Yes, indeedy, weedy. Okay. And this is the other one, which I was going to leave this as the bottom. I think I like it a little bit closer. Maybe about evenish. Evenish. We'll do it that way. Evenish as much as possible. Yeah, if you guys don't know about Twitch, you're, you're missing out on a whole new platform of watching streamers and people who craft what you're interested in crafting or, you know, stuff you're not even interested in crafting because you, you know you don't got the talent, but you're l l happy to watch somebody else work hard at it. That's like woodcraft and clay making and, and digital artness. So, you know, <laughs> if, if you don't know what it is, go check it out. T-W-I-T-C-H, right? Twitch. 
I believe so. I could be wrong on that one. Hey, Baze, how are you? Happy you're here. Remember, we're doing our 12 hour, two weeks from today. 12 hour on April 25th. We will hang out for 12 hours. We're gonna work on um, this panel piece here that was gifted by Christina, because I lost my panel piece. I still think I sent it off to somebody. Um, oh, here we are. It's a beautiful, beautiful sewing machines. I'm gonna end up making three bags three bags for our viewers and we'll give them away that day. So hopefully you, they're not gonna be overly huge. They're gonna be about this big, plus uh, some uh, border fabric sort of thing. And then of course the inside with the handles and stuff. So um, we'll be able to give those away. So thank you, Christina. Found heck, oh, she's amazing. She was actually on earlier today there. I'm glad you looked, Lori. I'm glad you did. She's a, a fam fantastic girl. She actually did a um, YouTube, trunk show not youtube sorry uh facebook trunk show yesterday and she was so worried none of her fans were gonna hang out to support her and i i, I set an alarm on my phone because <laughs> i didn't want to leave this girl hanging <laughs> i'm like you're gonna be there laurelyn no matter what you're gonna help support these people so i set an alarm on my phone and i was there i was in the chat while she was doing her trunk show and it was it was awesome it was really fun to um share that with her too so yeah so there's our two pockets there's one pocket, okay, which will be mostly for cell phone and probably keys, okay. And here's another pocket for the booze and chocolate, okay. <laughs> We're just going to stitch them down. Do a little back stitch at the top, especially because you're going to load it up. You know, you know, want to make sure it's going to handle the booze and the chocolate. Yeah, and if anybody's looking for other people to watch on Twitch, just send me a message. I'm Looper1971, and I'm happy to share who I'm watching or, or when I do watch. So some are gamers and some are crafters. It's a bit of a mix. There's another one who works with clay. Um, she does uh, bowls and mugs and all sorts of, of fun stuff for all sorts of crafters, knitters, crocheters. Even even just quilters ourselves. She does personalized mugs. She can she can do whatever you pretty much imagine she can she can do for you. Yeah. So and she's playing in the mud. That's her Twitch name is playing in the mud. And she's awesome. Okay, so there's one pocket. Okay. See that there? One big pocket. One big pocket sewing on. And then this one, which was, uh, here we go at the top. Let's sew this down. Get a little back stitch. Keep it in place. I'm so happy I chose this orange. I was a little leery at first. I thought I had mint green at first. I'm like, eh, I don't know. And then I had purple and then I had burgundy and I'm like, eh, let's go with the orange. Let's go crazy. Let's go with the orange. Mm -hmm. Let's go crazy. In the words of Prince, let's get nuts. Let's go. All right, very nice. Okay, there's our other pocket. Here we go. Missed it? Missed what? What'd you miss, Laura? Mm. I play video games. I do too. I played Wilson. I played uh, recently just uh, Elder Scrolls Online with Munchkin and Pop. Yeah, we we did that as a birthday thing for Munchkin. So we still ha we're gonna work on our characters tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited. All right, now we need to sew our inside panels to our inside bottoms and stuffs. So let's line this up. Give it some pinning. Miss most of your life. Oh, you're here now there, Lawrence. Okay, do you have any questions? Happy to show you. 
I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Just call me Loopy Lou. <laughs> All right, let's put this one here. You also play uh, Elder School? Oh, really? So, yeah, very nice. I, I just recently, just recently with uh, Munchkin and Pop. Nah. It was trying, we were trying to find a game that we enjoy playing. We had played Atlas for a, a while last year, and then we kind of lost love out of it come May, June sort of thing. Um, and then Pop was kind of getting frustrated with it, so we stopped playing it. I was playing it on my own. It's boring. I'm sorry. It's boring on your own. You play Atlas. You need people to play with. Um, uh and then uh, I, we played WoW for a little bit. We signed back up. I mean, we started WoW way back in the day, you know, when they had their, you know, their, like their second year, I think they were, we started. Um, but it just, it, I don't know, just wasn't, wasn't our thing. And I don't want to play that game by myself. So, you know, I like to play with people. You play WoW? Well? well, that's good, Shannon. I, my, actually, <laughs> uh, one of the streamers I watch on Twitch is making a Torin Shaman on Fridays. So if you're interested in that, let me know. His name is C Notch Bush on Twitch, and he's doing a fantastic job. Uh, I love the Torin class. I have a, I have a Hunter Torin, and I had a, a Warrior Torin. So, and he's doing a female one, so it's very nice to see um, him not just do boy stuff. <laughs> That makes any sense. <laughs> I don't. I don't mean that in a bad way. I just. It's nice to see him do girly stuff. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing wrong with games. I mean, it's a, it's a good way to get away. You know, I just haven't feel felt felt overly much over the past few weeks. But um, you know, we we have started characters, and Papa Munchkin and I are working away. And I, I and for Elder Scrolls Online, where I've got a ward in. Pop has a ranger, I think, and Munchkin has like a tanky sort of thing. So, and we're having fun. We're having fun. We're actually gonna play tomorrow. We have we we've got a book, baby. <laughs> gonna play tomorrow. So. You have a mage. Very nice. Very nice. Look at the. It's good fun. It's mindless fun. It's, you know, you don't have to think about too much. You don't have to think about the home life. You can just go and zap some baddies and get some loot and some epic gears and stuff. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's fun. It's nice to, to chillax and relax. So I'm sorry. I love you, Ed. One, one is right. One is not right. <laughs> oh, bitty bobs. Oh, Pauline. Okay, thank you, Pauline. <laughs> I missed it. I'm sorry. Thank you, Pauline. <laughs> How did you know? Did you see me turn it upside down? <laughs> Seam Ripper, Seam Ripper. Seam Ripper, Seam Ripper. Right to the very end, exactly. <laughs> one's up, one's down. That would have been hard to stick something in that pocket. <laughs> yeah, what gravity feels. Why does this stuff keep falling out of my pocket? I don't understand why. I do. I put it upside down! <laughs> We needed a break anyways, didn't we? See? That's not going to do any good whatsoever. <laughs> this one. Awesome. This one. Suck butts. <laughs> good catch. Exactly. Just, it must have seen me turn it upside down. <laughs> You're my best friend. Seam ripper, seam ripper, right to the very end. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I cracked you up. Well, thank you, Darlene. <laughs> as long as I'm making you laugh in a good way. 
Not like, oh my gosh, look at this train wreck. <laughs> She's crazy. Almost there. Uh, <laughs> we got kind of poetic for the booze pocket. Yeah, no kidding. It's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Oh, so true. <laughs> You're making a sandwich. What kind of sandwich you making there, Allison? Because she's three hours behind us. What kind of sandwich is Allison making for us? <laughs> Hello, Lena. Have you here? <laughs> Love your orange, too. It's a rich orange. I'm sorry, I'm as deep tangerine. Oh, very nice. Very nice, yeah. This is like the brightest orange I've ever had in existence. And it was kind of, you know, do we order it? Do we not order it? So I'm glad we did, because we've used it for a few things so far. And I thought it would make a lovely addition to the inside of this half square triangle bag for sure. Just because it needed that brightness. I didn't want any black or white or gray or anything. I wanted a nice pop of color. I want it people happen to see inside of it, they'll go, whoa, what you got going on there, Laura Lynn? They'll be like, look at my epic bag. Check out my epic bag. Mm -hmm. And avocado. Oh, oh, very nice. Ham cheddar. Oh, very nice. Oh, there's a horsey walking up the road. Oh, it's a spotted horsey. Too bad you couldn't see it. I wonder where it's going. Maybe I can turn the camera around. Is it going down? Hold on, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go around the camera just in case I can capture the horsey for you. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you can't see out that window. Darn it. Oh, snaggle bottoms. They are gonna come down this way though, apparently, but you're not gonna see them. Sorry. All right. Sucks to be you. <laughs> Sorry? Check my direction again. Oh, great. Lovely. Well, we got to go this way. This is the bottom to the bottom. I'm certain, certain in the top, we're good. <laughs> yeah, no, we can't see the horsey, though it's going down the street. It's going right there. It's cute. Cute horsey. Black and white horsey. Definitely in horse country here. Uh, I do, I do carry. I have probably, I don't know, probably about a hundred to two hundred. No, no, no. Just a, just someone actually walking it. So walking the horse. They weren't riding it or anything like that. They were just walking it. Okay, so if you go here, this is down. This is down. Everybody going round. Okay, we're good. Always making more. Yeah, I made a whole bunch. Uh, I had some. Binding I did for a customer's quilt because she didn't know how to do binding. So I used her scraps and I made a bunch there. I pressed them. I didn't square them up. And then I had a bunch of the ones left over from Munchkin's um, binding. I don't know what I did with them. I pressed them. I don't know what I did with them though. Somewhere. <laughs> Around here. Yeah, no, always collecting, always collecting. It would just be for another project is really what, what will it be? Just what, what, what other project can I make with half square triangles, right? Without it having to be a bag. I mean, a bag or a quilt, right? Like what else can wall hanging? We can do, you know, I mean, these are extras, right? You, t you take the time to make sure they can happen or you end up tossing them in the garbage. I mean, it's, it is time consuming when you have to press and then square up. But I think in the end, it's really worth it. This will be something so unique. Nobody else will have it. Hello, Cheryl, what's going on? I would love to buy some orange and your black backgrounded fabric, machine fabric. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I was good there, uh, uh, Pauline, with the direction, I think, anyways. I, I mean, I got it on right. All right, let's do up the sides first. Oops. 
do 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 on the back of your coat like yeah I could I could totally they they have a kind of a sentimental value because of all the projects I've done with them right so it's kind of like they have an, uh, an emotional connection like some of these go back like quilts I've given away as wedding gifts or quilts I've given away as you know just as as a, as a gift gift or you know as a giveaway Yo, oh, no that's not for sale that that came from Christina or Christine sorry Christine for for Ferrari for 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 Ferrari I'm gonna say it wrong I know I am because I'm a dork all right let's do the other side let's pin Oh, this is going to look so darn cute. So darn cute. And then we're going to insert one in the other. we got to make some handles first, though, before we do that. And then we're going to be done. <laughs> D-O-N-E, done, 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 done. I feel like we need a James Bond sort of theme, theme song intro, extra going on there. Dun, dun. Furry. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Furry. It's kind of hard to say the names when you're just not sure how they're how they're said. <laughs> oh, what's going on there, Lori? Where are you lost? What can I help with? I was going to set, suggest a matching purse, but maybe an uh, ongoing scrappy quilt where you make them into eight-inch blocks with sashing. We keep. Oh, that would be a good idea. I like that there, Carrie. That's a good idea. Put them in the back and they'll get, oh yeah, and lots of lines in the bag. It is a lots of lines in the bag. It is. I, I tried to give it that little um, quilted tartan sort of look to it. Why do you do Y seams and attach the long seams? This is not a Y seam. It's just you stitched all the way down. It's not even a Y seam. I don't, I don't consider that a Y seam. There we go. Just attach the sides and, and make the inner just like the outer. Okay. All right, let's go down each side. We got four sides to go down. Lost the thread, said Fred. Okay. Here, let's give it a fresh cut. We don't need the old lady glasses to get it threaded. Woot! Look at us, first try. Oh, what's going on here? Buggering up here. Mm. Okay, I'm so confused. What's going on here? Machine is just not stitching right. Well, let's try this again, shall we? What is 
going. It is just stopping for some reason here. All right, let's figure this out first. And we have to rip all this crud out because it's just a mess. And I don't know why it was stopping when there was no reason for it to be stopping. But now that it's made a mess of it, we need to pick it out. Mm, hello, Helen, how are you? Hello, Linda, how are you? Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. 260, 70 of us, 70 of us hanging out. Appreciate it very much. It's always lovely to see your, your mug of lugs around here. <laughs> Is it, I don't, uh, that's probably a good question there, Kathleen. It's just, it, it was just like stutter stopping. It wasn't going anywhere. It made a flipping mess of the thing in the back here. So and I don't want all that. It's not like anybody would see it, but you know, still it's kind of like, what is, what is going on here? So let's try and fix this for part first. And move on to the next, cause it's all we can do. We're only humans. We're only humans. Anybody got any big plans for tomorrow? I'm um, obviously we can't, you know, hang out with family, but I mean you can certainly video chat. We're like I said, we're having a ham and mashed potatoes and um, asparagus. We haven't. There's nothing special or anything for dessert or anything else for the day. It's just a. We'll cook a ham and hang out, and, and that's about it. Aw, oh, thank you, Gita. Appreciate it. Thumbs up, everybody. Thumbs up. Nice to see almost 300 of us hanging out. Anybody have any questions about this project? I mean, because it was really just half square triangles left over from binding and borders and flipping stitches of of quilt projects and of of throughout the past three years that's how I just kept collecting and collecting the ones that were the same color like the ones for binding if it wasn't a mixed colored binding I put off to the side so I really just used the half square triangles that you can tell that did distinguish between the two fabrics that you could tell within the you know two fabrics were triangles so I need my old lady glasses for this. Hold on. <clears throat> mm, what was the... What was... I am a uh, looper, 1971. L-O-O... -O, uh, yeah, L-O-O-P-E-R, looper, 1971. You can find me there. That's usually where I hang out when I'm not here. I'm usually watching some people's or listening or something. Sometimes not always watching, but mostly likely listening. Because I got stuff going on in the quilt shop. It's uh, sometimes a little hard to hear some of them sometimes. So, but company. And they're live, so you can talk to them, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, it really got, it really got to be a mess over here. My goodness. I'm trying not to cut the fabric with all the the thread, the mess up a thread. It was, yeah, it was definitely a naughty mess. No, there's some really good people on Twitch. And you don't have to pay anything. You can just follow them and put them on your side list. I watch a few gamers. I've watched a few crafters. You know, so, you know, there's there's some in German and some in Spanish, and I don't speak either one of those languages, but doesn't mean I don't enjoy their content. So, and it's always nice to try and pick up words from another language, you know, French, Spanish, German. Heck, even English, I can know, I know, I know I need to work on that. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lori Miller. Big hugs. Big hugs to you. Yeah, this is a flipping mess back here. Oh. 
trying to figure out what the best way is to try and alleviate the the wackadoodle that's going on here, but I think I'm just trying to take it one little cut and stitch at a time. Snippy snips, there we go. Let's get some of those knots out of the way. Oh, there we go. Okay, holy banana cakes. You know, we don't want those knots of threads in our fabric because that'll just jam up underneath your machine or make things not sit right. Okay. So there we go. Okay. Whew. Oh my gosh, what a battle. I won! Mm! <laughs> uh no, no, not a 77. Would just be a looper 1971. I'm not sure how else. Maybe just send me a friend request there, Sass. Send me a friend request. Okay, let's put in the other. Oh, we had another bob in here. Tell me I dropped it. No, I couldn't have. Did I? Hmm. Like, we didn't go through two bobbins today, today, did we? I thought we had two bobbins ready. Wow, that really chewed up the fabric. Yikes. All right, see if we can get this to go again. Okay, why are you not feeding? Alright, I need to dig some scrap here and figure this out. What is going on with this machine? It's like not feeding the dogs at all. feeding. Let's turn it off. Yeah, I don't know why you can't find me. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Pop put a link in there. You can just click that. Find me there. <laughs> Trickies. <laughs> Okay, that is feeding. Look, that's feeding just fine. Weird. Wonder what needed to happen. Did I need to shut it off. Big takes. Good gravy, ball mighty. All right, let's keep going here. Slight technical manufacturing delay. <laughs> Cheapers, creepers. Trouble, T R O U B L E, sass. <laughs> but that's probably been taken. <laughs> Clean out the bobbin case, too? Oh, I probably could have. I should have. I know I'm going to run out of bobbin very quite shortly here, and I thought I had another one loaded up, but it seems like it went MIA. I don't see it anywhere. So, yeah, for some reason the feed dogs weren't moving. And I'm like, that's not gonna happen here. Thanks, tracker. <laughs> All right, here we go. Innocent something? <laughs> You're funny, June. <laughs> It isn't something. <laughs> Too funny, buddy. <laughs> Sassy trouble. Sassy trouble. There we go. Sassy trouble.
Yeah, and if you become my friend, you can see what I'm watching if you want to. I mean, you don't have to be. You don't have to be my friend. No pressure. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can't be watched. <laughs> but you don't have to. You don't want to. It's okay. Okay, now we need to do our handles. Okay. So this will be, once we get this trimmed here, here. Makeup done under, that's a good one. That's a great one. So this is what be the inside of our bag will look like. Okay. Here. Is it Fred? <laughs> that's funny. There we go. Okay, now we need to make our handles. I think I got those down here tonight. Yes, I did. Okay, now this was supposed to be, if that was four, was supposed to be two inches. So this needs to get cut in half. Uh, it is a big bag. I want it to be a nice big size bag. I'm trying to take it to guild meetings. I'm trying to, you know, do all sorts of fun stuff with it. So, um... Let's cut this in half. And we'll do two inches in the center. With the orange and then surrounding with the cream. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Take this part it off. We're going to sew down this side and then we're going to take it and then once we sew down there, we're going to sew over on this side and then turn it right side out, okay? That's how we're going to roll. You see me rolling. There, let's move you guys out of the way so you're not getting confoozled. Uh, not quite, <laughs> not quite, Lori. <laughs> but it's definitely enough to take my stuff wherever I want to take it. That's for sure. Okay. Now what it's going to do is have the orange strip onto the outside and then have the cream go underneath where your hand goes sort of thing. So if anything that was getting dirty, it would be the creamy part with a, you know, a faux tan leather suede thing is. Okay. <laughs> Hint. <laughs> Sasslet, <laughs> let me guess, just Sasslet. Uh, not as big as the bag I got from Laurelin. <laughs> yeah, that was a big bag. I wasn't, I'm like, if you're gonna make a bag, make a bag that's useful, right? So I, I, it seemed a little bit oversized when I started making it, Helly, and I was like, oh, please, I hope she uses it. <laughs> I hope she uses it. Oh, I think we're out of bobbin. We're out of bobbin. Oh, bang nabbits. All right, we gotta load. We got a load of bibbity bobbity bobbin, because I don't know where, I swear I had three loaded here. I didn't use that much, did I? Maybe I did. All right, bobbin time. Bibbity bobbity bobbin time. Who <laughs> have loaded bobbins? I do at some point in times, not all the time though. You can't find Helly. Helly's got to find you. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm glad that you find it useful, Helly. I was, I wanted to make you a few things, like a little change purse. Uh, we are in Ontario, Canada. There, uh, Karma. Is that Karma? How, is that how you say your name, Karma? We are in Ontario, Southern Ontario, Canada. We're about two hours from Tran. If you if you if you know the lower um, 
greater Toronto area of the horseshoe, what they call it. Uh, yeah, we're kind of in that little zone. So, mm -hmm. you meant you like loading the bobbin. Oh, mom and crew, you made my day. It's so nice to chat with you all and see you. Know, thank you. Oh, well, thank you for hanging out with us, Laura. Appreciate it. Let the chaos begin. <laughs> We're all human. <laughs> we all put our pants one leg at a time. Oh, hold on. My Nemi old lady glasses for this. Twitch hide and seek. <laughs> there's lots of there's lots of people to watch, right? You know, even if you just put them on in the background, it's not like you know, a recorded video or anything, it's live. So if you have something to offer, you can type in. And if you want to support them, you can. You don't have to, though. It doesn't cost you anything just to follow or just to watch. So, I mean, it's it's beneficial in a lot of ways to uh, to, to me, uh, you know, to me, because I, I find it more relaxing that way to go find some an artist to go watch than I do to go find videos. So... I can watch and concentrate on an artist work on a project from end to finish, even, even if it's an eight hour stream or a five day stream or, you know, like, a, a, you know, a process that takes five days to, to complete from A to Z sort of thing, you know, like it's, uh, it's interesting to see it in that way. And I'm just known as Looper1971. They don't know who I am or what I do or anything else like that. I don't self-promote myself in anybody's channel. I never have. I never will. It's bad etiquette. So whether it be Twitch or YouTube or anything else like that, it's very bad to promote yourself in other people's channels if you're, if you know, if you're crap. If you get called out and, and, and you know, get a shout out, that's a whole totally different story, you know, but you don't go, hey, follow my channel on blah, 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 you know, that's it's, it's bad etiquette. I don't, I don't sh go out and show up in anybody's channel with the mom and pop quilt shop logo at all. I don't, I don't do any of that. We never have, we never will. We figure people find us the way they need to find us, not force shoved in their face sort of thing. Like, look at me, look at me. This is, this is what I do. This is my channel sort of thing. So, we've never been that way. We never have, never will. All right, so now that we have this little loop, because it's obviously, it's two different sizes. I'm working with a four inch and a two inch here, okay? Okay, four inch and a two inch. And then I'm gonna take that and flip it out so the two inch is gonna try and balance itself within the four inch, okay? To kind of see a little bit there. So I'm gonna pull it out so all you're seeing is I'm kind of trying to make the, the toughest part of the handle, the the gray, uh, the tanny part, and then just that little collar a pop. So, yeah. Right. Now, now here can come a few tools. There's um, there's little uh, sticks. There's uh, tools you can go and like clip and pull out, sort of thing. I think if I just kind of grab a little bit with my fingers and work it the best I can, that's. Um, that's the best, that's the best way to, to, to kind of work that, right? So, yes, I do as I follow you. What was that? What do you mean by that, Heli? Uh, yeah, it was really a gaming channel a long time ago, actually. That's where we first started off, uh, but I didn't realize that. Um... <laughs> Apparently the boys made me a Twitch account way back when, or I made one up, but I didn't realize what it was for. Like, you know, at the time in 2000 and, uh, 2017, I think is when I made it. So here we go. Here we go. So you can see what it looks like. And then we're just going to give it a press and then we'll do some stitching down. So it really becomes a handle handle. Key just comment. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Heli. 
Uh, and then we'll do the other one. Um, yeah, but now it's become more of arts and crafts. There's there's crocheters, there's clay makers, there's 3D makers, there's 3D printers, there's people who draw, people who paint, who people who uh, work with wood. There we were, um, Pop and I were watching. His name is Texas Hula. He was working on a wood bowl yesterday on a lathe. Uh, it got a crack in it, so we made another one. Like it was just, it's just you know, real life happens. It's it's nice to watch the whole process come together. I've been watching the British Gardening Show on YouTube. The old daughter keeps going, dooder, going about how easy you can grow veggies in your all year round. Yeah, not out here, <laughs> right, Carrie? Well, you're in Finland, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not at all. All right, so there's the other handle, okay? So we're gonna do a little pressing and then we'll do some stitching on that, okay? What, hi buddy. Gonna get my chair? All right, gonna jump in my chair? Yeah, I figured, there you go. <laughs> and he's in the chair. <laughs> I figured that's a nice good size handle for um, a bag, right? So you want a nice good sturdy handle. You don't want a weak handle. I want a nice sturdy handle. So try and get that orange right in the middle. Okay, it's not an overly long handle. It's just enough to pretty much get my hands around. Okay. Well, we have a greenhouse. Uh, I did some bartering last year for it with Pam, Pam Baker in the chat, my fellow crossing guard. Uh, I just stitched up a quilt for her and trade for a greenhouse, so I'd like to be able to set it up. Um, I think we were going to do it yesterday, but it had been so cold, nobody wanted to go outside. And I don't blame them, because it was snow on the ground. <laughs> it had snowed. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I guess I'm doing this by myself, or just another day. <laughs> Alright, so there's our two handles. Thank you very much. Looking good, and yeah, and they'll hang this way. I'll hang that way, like on the bag. Choo, choo, choo. No, I don't want to lose my wine. <laughs> or a kitty cat. <laughs> if I put a kitty cat in a bag, right? <laughs> All right. Now, let's, let's, let's stitch and then we'll trim. We're just going to stitch right on that orange. Kind of give it a little definition. We'll do that on both sides, just right close to where the seam allowance is, where the seam is. Do it on all, all sides. So two times on this one, two times on the other one. And then we'll place our handles where we want them in our bag. And then sew all the way around. That's pretty much it. Inner and the outer. Hubby just finished mowing the yard. What? Yeah, want, want to shovel? <laughs> what, want to shovel the yard? <laughs> Actually, I was raking up some leaves the other day before it snowed. I was trying to tidy up a little bit, like a bomb went off in the yard. We found all of Sophie's toys, though. <laughs> Once the snow melted last week. It pretty much melted the day it poured, poured rain all day. So it was just warm enough to melt all the snow. All right. 24 degrees Celsius. That's bikini weather, girl. <laughs> what? That's bikini weather. Yeah, we still have, we have frost and snow still in our forecast. So that's why I really wanted to get the greenhouse set up so I can get some of the uh, seedlings that I have going on here. I can order some, uh, um, what am I looking for? Mm, dirt from uh, the local uh, country crops. So they can, they can deliver that. Might be a little bit expensive, but I hate, but something's better than nothing. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna go overly crazy with the garden this year, but I am, I am trying to get some stuff in the ground. Oh, this is looking lovely. I love this orange, even with that little bit of tan. So it's the tan at the bottom of the bag and the tan at the handles. So that's just trying to give that extra durability and s stiffness and toughness going on. Okay. 
So this is what it looks like on the back side. Okay. And that's what's going to look on the side that you're going to, you guys are going to be able to see, that everybody's going to be able to see. So, okay. And there's going to be nice, nice handles. Nice handles go like this. Good gripping in the hand. I think it's going to be amazing. All right. So let's trim these little bums up. And then we will start placing this around. Uh, okay. So we need right sides together. Okay. So right sides together. But we also need to figure out where we're sticking our handles, how far they're going to come in, where they're going to be. Okay. Because I wanted them to be the grippiness this way, not this way. So I need to make sure that when they're going to go upright, they're going the correct way. Okay, so we need to make sure from each seam we're coming in the straight or the right amount. Oh, excuse me. We're almost done. We're almost done. Give me like another half an hour and we'll we'll be rocking and rolling. All right, so if this is gonna be I think it's 20 across. Yeah, it's 20 across. So if we go five, five and five. That leaves 10 in the middle. I think that looks, sounds okay, doesn't it? Two, three, four, five. All right, let's. Let's see. There and there. That's a good handle. Stick that. That's a good, that's a good handle, I think. We put the seam line. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. That was it. Better. Uh, yeah, I did. L O O P E R. Looper. Looper. That's what my mom has called me since the since the day I know it. She's always called me Looper. Loopy loo sometimes for short. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, so now we've got those ones. That's a nice, that's a nice big hand. Oh, I like that. I'm liking that. All right, now we need to make mark this one and then we can get sewing. Thank you very much, Karen McKenzie. Thank you very much. I'm having a blast trying to finish this up. That is for sure. It has been a long in the waiting, let me tell you. Okay, I'm just making the marks where I need to put the other handle. Okay. Sorry, you can't see that here. Sorry, there we go. Just trying to pin it in place, marking it up where the other one is kind of holding its spot. And I do want that orange to the outside, so I want you to be able to see it once the bag is finished, right? So you kind of have to make sure you're doing your placements properly, okay? And you don't want too long of a bag unless you're making it like a messenger bag or a shoulder bag or something like that, but this is not. It's just gonna be a nice big handbag. I can chuck off the guild meeting, grab stuff from the grocery store, you know, give up give to Munchkin for Uber Eats or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right, so now that we have those in place, those two handles, okay? See, and if we had the inside out, it would just be like that, okay? Not nice? A nice big bag? Ooh, it's gonna be a maze balling. Okay, now we need to take this one and slip it over which is the right sides together. This is a right side, this is a right side. We wanna make sure those right sides are together, okay? Oh, what's up, Lori? This was stay at home thing, we missed the tulips. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. My tulips are popping up. Some of you probably may or may not know. <laughs> five, five years ago, 
in November, I planted <laughs> a lot of tulips in the garden to spell out two and a big heart for Pop and I's 20th wedding anniversary. Well, that was five years ago. So this year I've seen them just sporadically popping up. They're not making the big two heart that we had <laughs> for, for, for five years, but <laughs> yeah, they, it's, it's, it's done a good job. It, you know, I, I'm still, I still can see them popping up. So, okay. So now what we want to do is line up seam for seam, the seam for the outside bag, the seam for the inside bag, make sure they're lined up the best we can split the foam if you need to for the bag to be able to get your uh, piece all nice together. Okay. So let's let here, let's pin on the outside because we're going to be sewing around the outside. Okay. So here, and we know we got those pins in there holding the handles, but we still need it to hold the fabric. So we'll leave those pins in there. We'll sew over gently. So we're not being too cray cray. Actually, you should probably, could probably put that. No, we'll just, we'll just leave. We'll just leave them. Leave them, Steve them. 70 bulbs last year. May have 10 plants. Oh, wow. Well, that's just so far, though, right, Gita? That's just so far. Or is the little critters been eating them? I tell you. Sometimes barbecued squirrel sounds good. <laughs> They're always into my chicken pen. Or they were anyways. I, I lost the last of my chickens, so I have no chickens now, which is sad, but that's okay. It is what it is. We're going to do some yard moving stuff and move the coop over closer to the house and stuff like that and make a better gate. And uh, yeah, we're going to do a few things to help um, alleviate the, the, the chicken stress. So, okay. All right. We're almost there. We're almost pinned. We're almost pinned all the way around and we got this. We got this. It's going to be a beautiful bag. Don't you kid yourself. We is going to be a beautiful bag. All right. I'm trying to take the ones that were holding the handles in and poke them through. So I'm not possibly sewing over a pin and wrecking my machine. So I'm just going to confirm that those guys are in their spots on both sides. Over here. Okay. And there. Yeah, but we found some sunflower seeds and I, I we had uh, spaghetti squash for uh, part of dinner last night. So I, I took all their seeds out. I don't know if they'll grow, but I'm, I'm more than willing to give it a shot. So um, we'll see if those spaghetti squashes uh, grow. We have like this weird hill in our property because we're on the way up out of town and it's kind of a hill. That's why the driveway is off a of church and not Trafalgar, even though the house is Trafalgar. It's because there's too much of an angle to get into the, the drive, uh, if they would have put a driveway there. So um, I'm thinking maybe along the hill I could grow some squashes. So, all right, there we go. It's pinned. And let's sew all the way around except for one little space where we're going to turn it all the way right side out. I grow Easter lilies. Uh, one year I cut the bulbs in half and replanted them. Now we have a lot. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's a good idea there, buddy. Oh, very nice. How oh, smarty. Okay, let's sew. Let's sew, let's sew, let's sew. Feed, 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 Let's sew, let's sew, let's sew. Now you want to make sure you're going to give this a nice uh, seam allowance. So give it like a, a half inch-ish, okay? And be patient. Don't be rushing. There's a lot of fabric and fluffies and foams and everything else happening here. So be patient. It's not a race. How come you're not done yet? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and 
And this is a great place if you want it on the side section, you can put a little bit of fabric where you can clip your, your keys into, uh, like a beaner or anything like that, or something you want to click onto is where they go on the outside or the inside. You could put a, a side pocket in here where that's where your phone and keys go instead of the other bigger pockets. There's lots of options you can totally adapt to making your own bag for, for the purpose that you need it for, right? So don't, don't be shy. Think about what you need and, and just go for it. This is the time where you can make something specifically for you and your needs. You need a small pocket for your scissors, small pocket for your needle uh, holder, small pocket for uh, a ball of yarn or a section in the bottom where the ball of yarn can kind of turn around in like a circle pocket or something like that. It, whatever, whatever the weather. I'm serious. You could do it. I know you can. Where is the wine bottle Velcro stuff? That's a good one. <laughs> See, that's what I should have put on the side there. See, <laughs> Allison's got a great idea. <laughs> That's a fantastic idea. <laughs> okay, almost there. Almost there to the turnaround spot. Oh, 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 drop the pin. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, almost to the turnaround spot. Okay, now we're at the turnaround spot. Okay. Whew. Okay, now here's the moment of truth. I got no needles in here, I don't think, no pins in here. I'm not gonna jab myself. Now we have just this little space right here, just enough for my hand to go in and turn this whole bag. If I don't stick my hand down the pocket first, I'm like, why am I getting to the bottom? <laughs> now you're gonna have to be patient here, okay? Like this is a game of patience here. Gonna be slow and steady. Depending on how big a gap you leave is how much work you're gonna have to put into it, so. <laughs> it's coming, it really is. <laughs> Come on. Oops, popped a couple of seam there. Okay, we're going. It's coming out. Just got to be patient. Just finish the blocks for Sequester. I didn't see any of that. I, I've been focused on other things, so it's especially with my mom passing. So I, I'm, I'm glad people are keeping themselves entertained and out of trouble and, you know, are having a good time on working on their projects, UFOs, new projects. So, okay, there we go. Whew. I think that was ever going to happen. Okay, now the rest of the bag through the hole. Okay, now take this part, shove it inside. And there we go. Beautiful. Go a little sew around the top. Make sure we pin this where it needs to be. I tried to make it so you could just see the orange at the top. I'm trying to get right down into the corners here. Pop your corners out. Make sure you're popping out all your corners. You, you, gotta, you got four to deal with here, so make sure your corners are all popped out. And then here, get your fingers in there. Get your little tool if you need to, because now's the time, okay? 
And then once you're happy with the way it sits and you got everything where you want it, make sure you do a stitch around the top, okay? Turn this under. It could be a fantastic baby bag. Yeah, for sure. That's actually a good idea. Wish I knew somebody I could give it to. That would that would, you know, that would like it, you know. I know someone's having a baby, but I don't know if they'd like it. <laughs> it's kind of it kind of a hit or a miss, right? So we'll do all right, so just put a few pins in where it's sealing up the top to the bottom and or the inner to the outer. And of course you could also, you know, give it a good pressing. You could define more of the, you know, side bits or whatever. So that is, could be a shoulder bag. Could be enough for a shoulder bag, you know, okay. Not bad, keep me out of trouble. Sorry? Doubtful? Oh. <laughs> Hear that? He says doubtful. And I'd probably want to come back and reinforce this uh, strap this way as well. So yeah, that's, there's my bag. There's my beautiful half square triangle bag. <laughs> Clyde can sleep in it. Yeah, he could definitely. He could definitely hang out in there. Nice big pockets. Beautiful color. Awesome. All right. I think we'll leave it there. Anybody have any questions? Is it really four o'clock? Oh my gosh. Okay. I didn't realize it was going to take three hours to do this. Sorry. <laughs> Peeking up. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. I'm really glad I did that extra stitching detail. I really like the way the bottom looks and how the, the sides look with that extra stitch detail for sure. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Big hugs. Big hugs. Nice to see almost 300 of us hanging out in the chat. <laughs> 11 p.m. Oh, my gosh. That's late. It's only four for me. So yeah, just do the gray stitch all the way across to kind of reinforce it. And that is my beautiful 672, 75 half square triangle bag. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> thank you, I'm happy everybody loves the bag. It's really cute, loving it. Love that little pop of orange. Because there wasn't a lot in with the <coughs> half square triangles that had to do with orange. That's why I picked it. So I thought that would make everything kind of pop out. Beautiful bag. I'm loving it. Oh, it's going to be so amazing to be able to just kind of take it out places and stuff like that. So, Anybody have any questions? Oh, my stitch link was uh, 2.80 uh, to stitch everything together. Do I need your address? <laughs> yes, happy Easter, everybody. Big hugs to you. Remember, the 25th will be a 12 hour, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, other than that, we will see you next week where we're going to start putting some of our um, Polaroid blocks together. And the question was earlier, so I'll give you one more chance to put in your A, B, or C. The question is, was, what to put in between the sashings or the sashing color. So here's, here's Sharon, is it Sharon's? Yeah, here's Sharon's Patmore uh, blocks there. So what would it be uh, fabric A to go in between? So type it in the chat. Fabric B to go in between or fabric C to go in between. So this is kind of a burgundy purple. This is like a brick red. And this one is like a goldy, tony kind of sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Say hi to Lisa for you. Is that you mean my sister, Lisa? I will, June, if you want me to. Change my mind. <laughs> Amy, all right, I'm gonna go with whatever is the most because we're gonna end up doing an auction off for this one too, so. Okay. 
They are fussy cut there, Kathy Quilts. They are. Some of them are. Well, we did a little, little, uh, one year ago today. So if you go we'll look at Polaroid and her mom and pop quilt shop, you will see how to do this block and you can always contribute. We're going to be working on it for a couple of weeks. So be nice if you got it in and we can put it on. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have lots. We have lots. I could carry Clive in it. <laughs> That's for sure. No, I'm really, really extremely happy with the way this bag has turned out. I, I, I don't think I could be happier, to tell you the truth. It's beautiful. It's got lovely colors, lots of memories, a good sturdy bottom that I don't have to worry about getting wrecked if I had my half square triangles down here. So I really appreciate that tip from one of the viewers. And of course, I didn't my, reinforce my handles because I also didn't want them to break the half square triangles uh, along the seam lines or anything like that. So yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. If not, we will say goodbye for today. And thank you, everyone, very, very much for hanging out with us and sharing your love and your time and wishing you a very happy Easter. We're having ham, potatoes, and asparagus. Well, let us know what you're having. It's just going to be three of us. Mm -hmm. Bee sashing and a cornerstone. Use all three? Oh, well, there we go, Carrie. <laughs> That's throwing the spanner in the works, isn't it? <laughs> all right, big hugs, everybody. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Have a fantastic rest of the day. We'll see you.